awesome. Anyway, so, in your investigations, you'd found that Mina and Jonathan, Nero's parents, have been captured from the, their home city of Waterdeep and are being currently held um, by the Cult of the Dragon at the, at the Well of Dragons uh, in the wastelands far to the east um, of, most known, of your known civilization. You made your way there. And successfully infiltrated um, the cult of the dragons, posing as wanting initiates who had heard heard the tales of the cult uh, from cities far and wide, and had travelled um, to join in the glory of Tiamat. After su successfully completing your interview and application questions, uh, you are admitted into the cult as initiates. Uh, a dragon wing by the name of Tracy gave you a bit of a tour around the camp, gave you a, a, a bit of an in the ins and outs of how it works, of how the camp was split up into five focal points, each manned by one drag, uh, dragon aspect of green, red, blue, black, and white. Uh, you were given a tour of the tour of the grounds and shown various areas, such as the women pens, uh, the warehousing areas. Slave pens, uh, the training training pits, and also the general facilities area. After so, after you were given the tour, you were split up. As part of your application process, you'd each put down a color, most of them relating to dragons, um, <laughs> some of them not, and were split up and sent off to uh, your, the various camps to do effectively menial work and labor be it uh, working the kitchens, chopping onions for hours on end, uh, clearing up women poop, um, stacking the warehouses, inspecting the slave bands, or polishing weapons and oiling blades. Over the last few days you spent, um, f f uh, I think you've been here for actually two days now, for the past few days you've been working in the camp, learning you the ins and outs of what you can. You've learned the day-to-day -day structure runs in a uh, everyone wake, is, wakes up at staggered times of the morning quite early and goes about their d daily duties um, before the afternoon a sermon is delivered from the key temple structure at the base of uh, the tower in the centre of the camp uh, followed by evening's free time to do pretty much as you wish until you follow the next day <coughs> you've also learned that uh, Nero's parents are being kept near the tower uh, that are apparently uh, to the eastern side of it, though the exact location you are unaware. Um, your camps and your tents and where you are currently staying are located on the very outskirts of the camp, as um, your proximity to the tower indicates apparently your rank. As, as, new, as the newest members of the group, you are out on the small clusters of tents and small cul-de-sac setups. Um, on the last session that we ran, uh, we continued another day where of information information gathering and planning. Uh, key keynotes uh, were, I believe, some permission slips were stolen, or ex and examined. Um, the, a mark was left upon the shack, the women's shack where the food was kept uh, for a delivery of poison to be dropped off. <coughs> I believe, uh, I can't know exactly what happened to the warehouses. Um, I think it was more of a more of just an investigations. Um, the slave pens. Ranos continued to improve his rank with Rogan, um, the uh, uh, the leader of that red camp, and Jojo continued to spar alongside the dragon wings and the dragon fangs, trying to discern uh, any weaknesses or any intricacies of their techniques and strategies. Um, before we continue, has have I missed anything of import that anyone would like to mention from their time on there, or anything you think that I may, may have missed? I think uh, Zin looked into the ledgers. Mm -hmm. He did, but, but he I couldn't can't them. recall. Oh yeah, they were in Draconic. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun! And obviously, uh, Ranos had also, during your inspection of the pen, you had found sources of tampering from the this the south east southwestern quadrant at the bottom which i didn't report which you reported it at, you reported it but not as um i think you reported it but not as tampering oh yeah okay. yeah so you, i believe you reported all of the instances that you found because that that one was on the first day mm. Rogan was impressed with this. 
Um, anyone else think of anything that I've missed or may have overlooked? I think I've got most of it. Yes, sir. Awesome. So, where we left off, it was the evening of your second full day of initiative, which will be your third day in camp, because you arrived you know, arrived on one night, you then had your your orienteering, then you had one day of thing, and then you had one, this is the second day of your traditional cult life. I will say, today's date is... Sorry, pardon me. Um... Today's date is the 30th of August. You were given the date of the 29th of September as the day of the coming, whatever that may be. Okay, I have six days swirling around my head. Six days? Does that have any relevance or was that just me? Uh, I don't think so. So we do have time. You have you have at least a month until whatever happens happens. You have no idea if that is unique to this place or not. Mm-hmm. We probably need <coughs> that uh, whatever that is, and if it's related to the tower or to the dragon cult specifically, or the towers or the dragon cult. Mm. Yes. All I you think know that's the date is... of the sacrifice or something of Nero's parents. Yeah, all you know is that that date is important uh, to what is going on here. How far reaching that is and if it affects anywhere else, um, have no way of knowing. Who told okay. us that date was the... That was at... You were told that date during the first sermon when Anna, Anna, Anna Crona, the Black Worm Speaker, um, delivered the sermon. Um, which was actually on your orientation day. Yeah. Since yep. then, you've had sermons from two other worm speakers. Um, you had, I believe, um, let me find them here. I believe that you had the blue worm speaker and also the white worm speaker. Okay. So you've had black, blue, and white speak to you in the sermons. Uh, black appeared to be a female of some kind. Um, the blue was what you could discern a human male, and uh, the white may have been a dwarf man. What time of day is it right now? Right now, so as I was going to say, I'll come, I was going to come to that after mm, sorry, we've done sorry. the recap. But yes, Skaith, sorry, Owen um, did also have a speak with I forget his name because it was made up, Dave. Um, okay. Dave the Wivens, Daveth, Daveth, uh, the Wiven Rider, um, who you'd kind of like, like starry eyed, looked up to the Wiven. I believe you petted the Wiven as well. Yeah, I did. I remember we did have a we were joking because it, it was like a normal like name like Dave, but we tried to make it that was Elvish or something. Yeah, Daveth. Okay. Oh, right. No, it was Stephen. Uh, Stith Then, because I can see it. Um, <laughs> up in the chat um, but anyway yeah so he spoke to Steve Steve uh, Steve the Wiven Rider and his Wiven Bob um, um, <laughs> okay then so in terms of today's day so you'd finished all of your duties you've had your technically third ser so you had your third sermon on your second day of cult initiation um, the time now is evening time so it's about I would say it's roughly 4, 4 to 5 p.m. when most of the evening meals go. You've all been relinquished from your duties um, and you are now, you're in, if effectively, free time to do as and, as and what, as and wish you, do what you want. <laughs> um, however, before we do that, one thing I forgot to do last session, I would like everybody to make me Two charisma checks, please. No. Not saving throws, just charisma checks. <coughs> Two, you said. Two each, yes. That for Skaith. I do know that for Skaith. Uh, just count both. Yes. Sure. And 18. Yeah, count both lower ones. <laughs> 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 
Sure, you have disadvantage. You have advantage slash disadvantage. Whichever. I mean, depends. Would you, <laughs> would you like advantage or disadvantage? Uh, Ranos, you're not sure which it's one's fine. which. Okay, so as everybody, let me quickly roll for Tomothy. <coughs> He's got good charisma he is. Not. <laughs> um, good to know. So that, uh, the eight was for Jojo, wasn't it? Uh, yep. Awesome. So we have a six and an 18 for Nira. Um, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to look for. Good to know. So. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> These sermons are starting to make a lot of sense to me, guys. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Long-term um, madness. Anyway. Madness? How dare you. <laughs> madness. Sparta. Anyway, so it is now evening. Um, you've all split up from your various tasks. If you would like to all just convene for dinner, this can be arranged through coincidence. Or if you there's other things you want to do first. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll just split it up a little bit. Is there anything that anyone wants to do? Hi, Tom. Um, is there anything anyone wants to do now before dinner? Yes. Okay, anybody else? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tom, um, we've just gone, basically we've just gone through the recap of what was going on. Um, I don't think you've missed anything yet. We're just joining <laughs> back in in the afternoon. In the on the evening of the uh, the last day, um, I okay. I had you roll two charisma checks. You got a seven and an eighteen. You have no idea what they're for and what the answers mean, but I'm just letting you know that I rolled them for you. Okay. Okay. So, Heron, what is it you'd like to do uh, before dinner? I would like to find a quiet spot for up to six seconds and uh, ca quickly cast Arcane Eye. Since uh, re-reading re the spell, um, you don't have to sit down and do anything focused. Okay. The eye will just float around, do what you want, and then report a mental image back to you. <laughs> like a remote CCTV camera. Yeah, so it's like a... a, a... It's like a drone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it only, <laughs> has visibility. Yeah, it only has visibility, not audio, is that right? Yes. Good to know. Okay, then. Um, first off, so what's happening as you guys are popping out, as everyone's starting to filter out from the temple air of the sermon? Ranos, if you'd like to make me a stealth check, please, to kind of hide away. Uh, hide away. Awesome. Well. <clears throat> as you go to cast the spell, um you do uh yeah as you kind of you move away into a corner you kind of sneak behind one of the tents and you start to mutter to yourself and as you do so um someone comes out of the tent and goes oi i'm trying to i'm trying to have a nap here fuck off so sorry yeah. 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 And, yeah. Shit. <laughs> and you toddle off feel free to you can try again i'll try again and check the tent flaps before i <laughs> cast anything Okay, so you, you find a tent, make me a perception check. The first true combat, the first true roll of the campaign from that, of the, of the New Year's and that one. This, is, this speaks to you. <laughs> you have a look around and you, you find some tents that appear to be empty. Okay. And you can nip inside and you cast your arcane eye. Sweet. And off it flies. Uh, send it off towards the uh, tower and go for lunch, dinner. Okay, is there any is there anywhere in the tower you want to send it to? Just a recon of the general area? Um or? well I want to find the place where the uh parents are kept. So you are you focusing like on the eastern side of the tower then? Yeah. There's yeah. like this there wasn't the the one strong structure where they're kept? Um you don't know what structure it was. Uh, I remember it being adjacent to the tower. And it was the... near the tower. Um, not sure what it was made of. Could have been. Yeah, okay. Could have been a tent. Could have been a building. There are. I mean, it's probably buildings. heavily uh, uh, guarded. Potentially. Yeah. Okay. Now, nah, and you guys head over to. You, you send off your arcane eye, and you start to catch up with the rest of the group as I head over towards um, the dinner tent. Now, 
Uh, I know we had plenty of time before this, but unfortunately, I just need a quick 30 second break. Uh, and so I'll be two moments and then I'll be back. Let's get to a body break. Indeed. Unfortunately, these, <laughs> these things just happen. Two seconds. Oh my god, All you right. guys. What are, we, what are we doing? What do these mean? Why do you call out mine specifically? What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> Yours? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the Your charisma what? checks. The charisma oh, yeah, checks. Um... So uh... I think they're either for recognition. Maybe. How re yeah. How we are in the camp, or how. I'm guessing for you, Nira, it's probably bad because you'd be like, ah, oh, you seem like a dragonborn with magic. Maybe we yeah. should sacrifice you. Yeah. And uh, since Which, that's, uh, to be honest, she'd be parents, perfectly fine if her parents got out of there. Yeah. yeah okay. Um. But um. That's what I'm guessing it is for you, or it is um, mistrust, or some. Yeah. Like we're not charm effect fitting we have in to resist. completely. Yeah. Uh, I think so it could we, be like. I thought we had like six days until we need to move. Um, if we have more time, I think we should really take it slow. Yeah, see if we can climb in the ranks a little bit. Mm, I don't think we need to. Well, I just we mean just so we can get closer to the middle. I think our plan is fairly solid. I think getting in good graces takes more than a month. Yeah. I mean, we've become claws, and claws are like initiate. Pretty much, I think. It's not like we'll be masked guards. <clears throat> I think we need to do magic for that. Wait, so, what time of day are we um, doing everything? <clears throat> um, I would say a sermon. Sorry? Sermon. Okay. Uh, I'm just wondering, in terms of people who want to go and attune to items before everything goes to shit. Oh yeah, seeming, of course. I forgot. Okay. So we can be decked out, pretty much. Good to know. Sorry about that break, guys. Um, things happen. So, you guys are heading off towards uh, the food tent. There's nothing else anyone wanted to do, no? No. Don't so, think so. Good, 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 I, good, good. Go I want to sit down with uh, some other people from the women places. That okay. aren't my teammates. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so as a member of... Uh, I think the black. black. Yes. Yeah, the black. That's it. Uh, yeah, that is, it is customary or standard for you to do so. So that would not be an issue. So you want to eat away yeah. from your companions. Yes. Okay. Um, you're kind of... as you're, It's not hard to do because as everyone's kind of moving away from the tent type area or heading away from the sermon, the, you notice they all seem to move in clusters of similar colours. You'd make a very mm. interesting bird's eye view shot of a really weird collage. Um, mm. But as you, you, can, you can tack on... You're probably seeing right now. Are uh, we wearing robes of matching colours to the to our assigned colour? or? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you got sleeves that are of the same color. It's like a little ring. It's just an, it's an armband. Like a little, like a little um, embroidery around uh, the edge of your sleeve is the right color, so you can tell. Definitely, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can quite, and also you've been. You, it's not just been you and um, Skaith slash Owen working in the Wyvern Pens. There have been a, at least a dozen or so of, uh, so of them mm -hmm. who you've been interacting with on and off in almost a lads at lads at work having a bit of a ban. Because um, yeah. <laughs> obviously Giovanni is the lord of banter. Um, and just kind of... You've, you've, met a, you've met a few people there. Yeah. Um, they should get banter. <laughs> So yeah, you can join up with them and you can head over um, with them without any issue. <sighs> the rest of you heading over towards the tent? Or the dinner tent? Okay, so you all head yeah. over and uh, you begin to make your... You begin to make your way over. Uh, as you're heading in that direction, you notice a lot of people... Not everyone goes straight there. They seem to disperse. Not everyone seems to want to go straight for their evening meal. Some of them head off towards camps. Some of them head down towards the training ground, and it kind of it just kind of everyone disperses. So the crowd walking towards the facilities area is much thinned 
in comparison to um, the, the the massive horde of cultists that you were amount, a part of momentarily ago. Uh, try, sorry, just trying to think of how to do something. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fine. You head over to the food tent. Um, you all you go, th go. You stand in line. You go through and you start um, grabbing, s grabbing some food. Appears to be some kind of um, salted meats today that obviously Nero had helped prepare. And uh, every now and again, it tastes a little bit nicer when wherever the magic has been spread. <laughs> but um, you all, you don't all go in as a large group. Uh, as you you filter in and you kind of pick each other out in the almost in the queue like. You kind of put your head down. You go, hi, and you you know where each other is. <coughs> so and you all you gather your food. Sorry, I'm trying to process how to do something uh, off the top of my head, and it's not working out as best as I can think. But I've got an idea. So you'll grab your food and you begin to start to um, congregate towards one table, one of the smaller tables, which would fit the the five of you now. Um, Nira, hmm? as you're walking over, you you hear a voice call out, Nira? Yeah? And you look over and you can see what appears to be a small gnomish individual. A man, hard to tell his age, um, wearing a mask, so you can't see his face. And he gets down, off, he, he drops off his table, he starts tottering over towards you. And he's kind of just has this. He kind of meets you part way in uh, in the middle of the hall. So there's people around you. People are walking around. Is that you, Nira? Yeah. Come on. Come sit with Nira? us. Nira, Blackthorn. Ah. Oh, come sit with us, please. It's, no, no, no. It's for, I've, got, I've got, I can't stay long. <laughs> Silent. Do you remember me from from the academy? Uh, the water deep. I remember you. We used yeah. to we used to sit near each other in school. What are you doing here? I was homeschooled. I don't know who this guy is. No, I swear I sat there. Oh, oh I, do I, I know you from nope. somewhere. Oh, I recognise you. I know, well, I know your I name, mean, so I must... Oh, I lived in Waterdeep. Yes. You saw me around there. I do. Is, he, is he wearing a mask while doing this? He is He's wearing, wearing a mask, mask. yeah. I do I remember... Where do I remember you from? Where do I remember you from? Something to do with what I my group of friends behind me. Oh, you're, you've not got there yet. <laughs> Hello? So you're kind it's of like me? caught on your way okay. to the table. And he's just kind of like, Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I remember the governor said something about it. Hmm. And then he starts tapping his foot. And you can see the cogs go. You can almost hear the cogs clicking his mouth. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute. Weren't you some kind of hero? For a little while, yeah. I retired. You, oh, you retired, did ya? Did you get bored Yeah, I of got it? a little too dangerous. I um, died, actually. You died? I can see you've got yeah. this thing with your eyes. I see. Yeah. It's come, come a bit safer. I see what you mean. At this point, I'd yeah. like you to make a deception check. Shit. Well, I'll give you advantage on it, though. Okay. Because of the eyes and the dying part. Alright. Because there is truth. I'm just... Not telling the whole Ooh, thing. I can't oh. see because the fucking Discord. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. The well, fucking Discord message just popped over it. <laughs> well, I'm Silas. If you ever need anything, let me know. All right? Because all right, you did some good things. You did some good things. <laughs> it's a shame they're all dead now, but yeah, I've got to go back over here. I've got to catch up with my mates. All right? Have fun. Bye. Good luck on the change of heart. Don't die again! <laughs> <And then laughs> I'll try. Toddles back off to his group. Oh boy. I seized yeah. my dagger. <laughs> um, Ranos. Well, actually, um, Ranos, with your passive perception, you have a look around and you kind of you hear this conversation. And you mm -hmm. do see just a handful of individuals paying, making note or paying attention I'm just gonna... to the conversation. Walk away from the situation as, as soon as it's done. As Nero walks away, they all seem to turn back to their meal, but it wasn't a quiet conversation. Yeah, I tried to make it quieter, but he wasn't cooperating. He was a loud gnome. Yeah. Damn, but you all, loud gnomes. You all grab your food and you sit down at the table. What was that? 
I have no idea who that person was. Probably someone who's heard of us. So what did he say? Did I, did I lip read him? I mean, he wasn't quiet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he wasn't quiet, and you have the ears of a yeah, okay. bat. Uh, so he's you, you have a fan. Your reputation precedes you for once. Apparently. At the worst time. Yeah. Well, you seem to be content with your answer. The others over there, maybe not so much, but... Uh, yeah. Least. And he offered help, so... And he has a yeah. mask. What kind of mask was it? It was a, dra it was a dragon wing mask, so it was the, uh, like, tier... Uh... Yeah, it was dragon wing, so it, like a tier two. Okay. Of... Tra like Tracy? So he's been Like here Tracy, a while. yes. Mm -hmm. huh. Mel, maybe... It's interesting. Maybe you guys should meet again. See what he does. See if he yeah. can be. Can helpful. I see which which camp he was in? Um, he was of the green camp. Okay. The different camps wear different coloured robes. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so we uh, decided they have embroidery around. They have the sleeve. embroidery around their sleeves that kind of matches yeah. their colour, so it's easy to tell them <laughs> apart. Okay. Which which camp? What did Green do again? Green is the warehousing area. That's his in. That's mm -hmm. Zin's brown speciality. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is uh, very fortunate. That's interesting. I think we have a candidate for for nangling. Yeah. Hmm. Trust you guys to take something bad and turn it into a t turn it into a positive. I wonder, if, I wonder if we can convince him to help me, help us. You know, yeah. without having to. Did you seem like? Control. He doesn't, didn't seem like the brightest bulb in the shed. <sighs> Everyone has their own reasons for being here. Well, no, I mean, that ex that just means he's po potentially exploitable. Yeah. Potentially. Um, so yeah, let's... You need to be extra charming and then... Or talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Probably Jojo can do something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Nira is the charming one of the party. She is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. True, true. Flow those try. <laughs> so, uh, is my arcane eye or, uh, close or near? Your Please. arcane eye, eye is doing stuff. We have a, I'm yep. going to have a quick look at the spells just so I can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, do, 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 boo, 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 boo. Um, it's like a drone that I can control with my Google glasses. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> kind of the own. Yeah. Um, so you mentally receive visual information from the eye. Yeah, so you can have the drone fly... Your <laughs> your arcane drone flying around that area. Um, if you'd like to make me a... I'd like you to keep it away from Heathrow. From Heathrow, <laughs> got you. Um, <laughs> <political>, topical jokes. <laughs> um, I mean, we technically have wyverns. This is technically in your space. <laughs> this, is, this is true, this is true. Um, can you, you think it's invisible. give me a perception check, please? All right. We just see Renos' eyes roll into the back of his head. Give me just one second. You haven't seen any hats. Huh. No uh, one wearing any hats or anything. No. Um, you're not sure, but maybe some of the masks have got like a, a draw. You know, like those uh, blinds you can just pull and yeah. just lock them in place. You can do that with the back of the mask and cover the top of the head. <laughs> I was um, thinking it was just my cowl attached to the back of the mask. But I mean, sure that's far more practical, and I don't like it. <laughs> um, so the arcane eye spends you spend about a good couple of minutes scouting around with your arcane eye, um, and you can see now looking down from the the camp, from looking down from up above, 
you can see the layout of the camp much more rigidly. You can see it is very structured. You can see there are clusters of tents, all of the clusters of tents as they go around, and they all form this kind of, almost these concentric rings. And I just want to be clear about with the tents as well. The way it works is you've got like clusters of about five or six tents in a circle, then, a, then like a gap or a path between them, then another cluster of five or six tents, and they're all separated by a web of paths and things like that. So very rarely do <laughs> you get more than like these clusters of five or six tents together. Um, as the and as you go further in, the tents get nicer and nicer or larger. So some of the inner tents they've only got four or three tents, and you can see this call all from this kind of uh, up, uh, top down view. Uh, as you have a look around the base of the tower, you can see that the the tents themselves are probably about at least a hundred foot away from the base of the tower. Okay. Um, all around. And there are again, there are several large pathways. Mainly uh, you've, on the west, you've got the temple area, um, and it's round the back towards the east. You can focus your efforts, and you can see what appears to be a small cluster of uh, two or three s relatively large tents there, kind of backed up against the tower. And you can see with the arcane eye, you can see what appears to be uh, a heavy guard. You can see. From where you are, standing outside of the tent, you can see two individuals, uh, large, imposing figures, wearing what appears to be head-to-toe plate armor, uh, wielding la with large great swords strung across their backs, and they appear to be guarding the area. You can also see um, a number of similarly dressed figures, and also some other figures wearing robes that seem to be patrolling the base of the tower, in clusters of two or three. Any windows on the tower? Uh, the tower is windowless. But there's this door, sermon door, right? Um, so the sermons, there is that balcony, yes. So they've kind of got that balcony area where um, the sermons are, are projected from down into the kind of the open parade ground, I'll call it. Mm, okay. But apart so from I'll... that, you don't see any other windows. Um, and you'd have to get closer and have a look around the base of the tower to look for any doors. Mm. I want to focus on the, the heavily armoured... <coughs> heavily armoured, the area, okay. Yes, so you can see it's it's two tents, we'll say it's two two tents side by side. They're relatively large, relative, relatively well made. Um, and you can see... Let's make it three tents, sorry. Three tents there, large. I had this planned out. <laughs> uh, there are three tents. Three tents total. Yeah. Two large, one small. And each tent has guards outside of it. So they kind of open in different areas a little bit. But you can see outside each tent are these two heavily armed guards. That, make, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, I... I, I I meant to do better than this. Okay, you can have two large tents, one small tent between the two of them, and there's about three of these heavily armed individuals kind of guarding the entranceway. So if you imagine it a little bit like this, if I draw it out for you. Uh, tent. 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 Person. 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 Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And then yep. you've got the tower kind of behind it, so it backs onto the tower. Not to scale. <laughs> but that's right, what you can now. see. And you can see three of these heavily armed individuals kind of standing outside. Uh, and you can also see what appears to be um, patrols going around the outside of the tower base. Okay, I'll have a peek in each tent with my one inch eye. <laughs> okay. You peek inside the left tent. And you can see what appears to be um, a large, very well furnished tent on the inside. You can see what appears to be uh, a large four-poster bed, for example. All of it looks like the inside of a manor in a tent format. <laughs> There's no one inside at this point. Um, 
but you can see desks of uh, you can see you can see a desk, a writing desk. You can see large armoire and wardrobes. You can see like a coat rack where robes would sit. Uh, you can see a, a variety of luxury items and furnishings. Mm -hmm. uh, but no one in there. Okay. Then the secretary's tent. The small tent. As you poke your eye into the small tent through small, small flaps, you can see what appears to be three large cages. And nestled mm -hmm. in the corner of one of the cages, two of them are empty, nestled in the corner of one of those cages, you spy two familiar individuals. Uh, um, Mina and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Hurt? <sighs> Not hurt, from what you say, dirty. Um, messy. But they do not appear injured. You don't see any like cuts or scrapes or bruising on them. Um, but they don't they don't seem to be in the greatest of health, but they don't seem to be injured either. Okay. That comes later. Um Alright, any guards inside? Is it just the three outside? Inside, it's very, since well, this one's quite small, there's no one inside, but there is basically so, a, a guard in the doorway to the tent. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And the third tent. Third tent, very similar to the left one. Um, also one of the things you, uh, if you make me, just make me a perception check, actually. Uh -huh. <gasps> you do notice that on the left tent, there are subtle blue hues here and there. So the tapestries and some of the banners have all got these um, deep blue hues to them. Whereas you look in on the right hand one and they uh, appear to have more of a, a clear or white sheen to them. Mm -hmm. From the like furnishings... The sheets are white and the banners are white and blue, etc. Okay. So, from the level of lux luxury, would it seem like it could be possibly the Worm Speaker's tents? It would not be a bad guess, but I can't say. So level four or five, pretty, pretty high up here. Okay. So yeah. And right now they're not there because they're probably eating in the tower. Potentially. Okay. Because we want don't want them to be there when we go rescue the parents. How big is the the the, the cage tent? The cage tent is probably not more than about. I'd say the cage tent is about fifteen foot across, mm -hmm. whereas these okay. tents are easily thirty. All right. Um, then I'll have a scout around the tower. Okay, you get around the tower. You see no doors. Actually, make me make me an investigation check. Actually, I would. I would guess there is an entrance nearby because the worm speakers don't want to walk very far. You have a look around. You see no. You, you inspect the ground level. You see no doors. Hmm. All right. I'll. I guess I'll wait yeah. in the vicinity. Have a bit of a bird's eye view and uh, do a security camera <laughs> uh, style uh, setup and wait to see if anyone enters or leaves. Okay. The tents or the tower. Okay. I'm guessing there's magic involved or secret doors. How long does the or I last for? An hour. An hour. Okay, good to know. Uh, same cage. So there are three cages. Two of them were empty. One of them wasn't. And the cages. Is it look... possible to just walk up to the tower? There's nothing stopping you. Okay. <laughs> there is. How about I just complete heist? I just got <laughs> in invisible and then. Plane ship to say. Exactly. Looking around, you don't you see. Uh, actually, give me a stealth check for the eye. Just it roll is it. invisible. Yeah, I'm aware. Um, okay. Nice. Nice. So, looking around the base of the tower, there is nothing stopping. There is no. There is, from what you can see, there is nothing stopping anybody from entering. Walking up to the tower and just like touching the side of it, there mm. are a large number of patrols. Looking at the patrols, you can see. So f during your surveillance time, you will see the patrols going through in groups of about three or four people. Generally, the groups consist of at least one of these plate-wielding individuals, 
uh, a robed individual and some of the dragon fangs sometimes as well, the spear wielders. Mm-hmm. Which you know as the tier threes. <laughs> just right. to just to refresh everybody as well, you've got so far you know about Dragon Claws, which are the rank ones, Dragon Wings, which are the rank twos, and Dragon Fangs, which are the rank threes. You're not sure what the name of the dragon fo- you may know what the you may have been told what the rank fours were, but I won't reveal that one as a recap. Okay, but there are there is a fourth rank, and you know the fifth rank is the worm speakers. There are not many worm speakers. Okay. So I re- relay all of this to my good compatriots and say, I mean, we could just plane shift into the tent. I am literally going to burn everything to the ground. Get your parents out. I know. More important. I have an idea, right? Okay, so we're in all our tent. Somebody cast Missy Step into an Iron Stone. I attune to my, so I have Shadow, and I attune to Amla Plains. Um, I also attune to my Flying Shoes. Uh, so when I cast Invisibility on me, I try to fly sneakily beside the tent, Missy Step inside the tent, using the stone, because that one... You have to see where you go with Misty Step. No, Missy Step, you can just choose to be, like, choose 10 feet in front of me. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I Missy Step inside oh, using the stone, because if using the stone, I don't have to be vocal. Missy Step inside, grab their hands quickly, use it on the planes, plane ship. You do need to fuck see it. anywhere. An occupied you space, you can see. see. Yep. You're thinking of Dimension Door. Dimension Door is different. I mean, Johnny well, could just approach the tent. Well, we could do here. Dimension like, Door as well. Dimension Door in? Dimension Door into the tent. Grab the hands. I'm going uh, to let them away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and of course, come... if I get fucked, I get fucked. <laughs> but... Uh, Skate is willing to risk that for nearest bounds. And if we're gonna do a heist, Skate can do it pretty well by himself. True. Mm. Still want to free the, the people, though. Well, we yeah, can we do everything, but, but if we want Maybe. to do that post, uh, or like fuck everything up post, I mean. The parents and prioritize them first. We could try to get them out and then fuck them. Yeah, you could be doing that while we're causing chaos. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, yeah. Cause a bit of a distraction might make the heist easier. Seems like getting the parents out with the plane with the amulet is fairly easy. Yeah. But it's more just getting in there safely, is it? Yeah. What level can Iron Stone hold? Third. Three. So it can hold. So What's my dimension, dimension door? door? Four. Yeah, you can put a dimension door in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost like they knew, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Called <Concept play. laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'd like everyone to roll me a stealth check. Uh, Please. Are we still in the dining room? At the oh, the yeah, you're in the table. And oh, shit, yeah. You're in a hall surrounded we, we, by cultists. I'm, I'm like whispering. Oh, yeah, sure. people who are oh, talking. This is, this is if, the third day of us doing this. I'm just giving I'm evil stares at anybody who looks our way. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Has anyone else that? They've added pictures to their uh, wiki thing. Mm-hmm. In the, um, uh, the when the information thing, when you Google like a spell, then that comes with a picture of you I've doing the spell. Bought the compa- I bought the player's handbook, so that might be what it is. Oh, pretty. So, if you, if I will, if no, if anyone wasn't aware of that, I've purchased the player's handbook add-in. 
So you have access to everything in the player's handbook within the game. Nice. Oh yeah, so Dimension 4 is 4, so that screws that. So if you wanted now, you can actually put Chromatic Orb, drag it onto your sheet rather than manually wow. typing it out. <laughs> oh, oh, there's Hex in there. Oh yeah, if it's in the player's handbook, it's in there. It is now! <laughs> By the way, I, there's uh, player's handbooks in there now. Sorry, I forgot to. I, th I thought I'd already mentioned it. Okay. Wait, well, what are I we doing? Just see a bit, I sorry, just see. Okay, I'll, I'll go through it at the break. Uh, sorry, <laughs> go on, Scaife. But okay, with those stealth rolls, you have a quick look around, and no one seems to have. So no one seems to be paying too much attention. Actually, no. Never mind. I'll just keep the stealth checks. If you want to look for that, you can do. Yeah. Uh, we should probably continue this in our tent. Don't have a tent. We don't have. Uh, a we tent need to go <laughs> and find a nice campfire to uh, burn some marshmallows that is very secluded. Okay. Yes, friend. Let's let's yeah, let's make some s'mores. <laughs> yeah. Evil plan. All get up at the same time. At the other table, yep. I want to sort of. Ask around a bit about this uh, coming. Very good that Giovanni is not here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I forgot yeah. I was about to come to Giovanni, but sorry, John. Yes. Uh, okay. So I so sort of ask one of my mates there, like if they know anything about the coming. What 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 the? Okay. Uh, what the one speaker was talking about. Make me a make me a persuasion check, and we'll see how much mm. knowledge you get get based on that. Mm -hmm. Come on, buddy. Aww. Okay, as you you spend Aww. you spend about half an hour conversing with your colleagues, and you kind of as playing the playing the clueless initiate, the noob. Yeah. You ask what for, for more information, and your comrades tell you that um, the coming is what they've all been waiting for. What the whole plan is is to bring Tiamat back into this world. She was banished um, eons ago. Um, she was banished eons ago and currently resides within the Hells. And the cult is gathering power from drawing uh, at the behest of the Black Worm Speaker, Arachrona. They are drawing power from ancient dragons to power a ritual to bring her back. To bring Tiamat back into this plane of existence to rule over all the world. And that's what go what's going to happen on that day. So that's D Day, basically. That's what they, uh, that's what if they believe is happening, yes. Okay. Right. So it seems at least focused on, uh, on the cult and not the towers. Yes. Yeah. Zin? Tom? Yeah, mate. Okay. You're dragging something ar around that's allowed. Am I? I'm just can, mate. Or that or your heavy breathing on us. <laughs> yeah, might be. <laughs> You've just been for a run. I understand. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. So, yeah, so, uh, John, you spend a bit of time there, and that's pretty much what you gather from it. You do spot as the rest of your companions get up to head out. I leave uh, with them. Okay, you take it, you give it a few moments and then toddle off. Um, Ranos, what's your passive perception? Twenty-five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my dice. Where's my dice? I'll roll. I'll roll like a peasant. I should have fixed it now. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> okay, you Ranos, as you're leaving the tent, you do notice. Um, a few pairs of eyes on you as they watch you leave. Mm -hmm. you kind of just, kind of as you glance around, you kind of you can see there are a few individuals that are taking note. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you does all... anyone follow? Not that you see. <laughs> yes, Skith, you trying to count? <laughs> You're muted. You are muted as well. Yes, sorry. If I'm just trying to sneak into a tent, what's stopping me from like going to like the back fit and just like using a knife to split 
uh, opening for me to walk into. You're welcome to try whatever you want to try. I, I, I have never tried to cut into a tent, but I'm guessing a sharp knife would cut through a tent. Maybe. Probably. Unless it's mithril tents. <laughs> These are good tents. Or but... even a magic sword wouldn't cut through? I mean, through? you could just lift the tent and crawl. No, I mean, the, a, a, a tent is a tent is a tent. Um, I'm sure it's not a do. door, so it's not always enemy. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Tents are like <laughs> low-level doors, like really weak doors. <laughs> I mean, you can try. As I've always <laughs> said, you're welcome to try whatever you want to try. Yeah, I'll try that once we go back to my tent. I just want to, like, I basically want to test the sturdiness of a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll come back to that when you get to roll, 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 roll to attack. <laughs> you um, the in the meantime, does my security camera catch anything? Um, over the course, we'll say the arc, with you dispatching the arcane eye, you going to get your food and coming back out. We'll say the hour has passed. Um, the arcane eye spotted the patrols, but nothing else. Okay. Um, your arcane eye did spot that. Um, every now and again, a, some of the robed individuals would walk over towards the tent, the tents, but I'm not sure what was going on. Mm-hmm. Checking in. The patrols are also very frequent. Very frequent. As in, um, the, the base of the tower itself is about a hundred, I think it's about a hundred feet across, roughly, <laughs> um, which, uh... The, the patrols, they probably don't have much more than about 100 feet, 100 to 150 feet between the patrols. Alright. So, I, you'd, you'd imagine a patrol would pass a point every 30 seconds to a minute. That is indeed tight security. It is tight, tight, like a toiga. Alright, and then uh, we'll toddle off and I'll keep an eye on the rear and see if uh, anyone tries to follow us. Okay. I'm gonna make you make a perception check just because. Uh, uh. Natural one. <laughs> okay, good to know. All right, so where are you going? You all, all six of you, meet back up. A, sec like secluded campfire. If there is one. Okay. I mean, this is the biggest place. It's a big ass place. Um, if you'd like to, whoever's helming the search, make me a survival check. I'll uh, assist you. A survival mm -hmm. check, yeah. Survival, okay. I'll not assist. Who's good at that? I think uh, Johanna would be, wouldn't she? Yeah, probably. Yeah. She is the wisest, yes. Or <laughs> Zim? I mean, you, I can either have one advantage or two checks. It's up to you guys. That would be fine. I'm guessing to find a campfire. It doesn't take you long. You spend, um, you use Jojo's um, great campfire sniffing <laughs> nose. We did take she a tour. Does like to we did, take we did go look. We did go look around <laughs> the day we got here. So yeah, she uh, she knows all fires. You head down. To <laughs> just keep the bandits away. Um, the training yes. area, and you head about um, three quarters of the way down to the training area, uh, and head out uh, to the outskirts of the camp. And you do see what appears to be some vacant tent. The campfire has burnt out. There doesn't, these appear to be tents that have yet to be filled. Okay. Uh, or they've been set up and left. Uh, but the, mm -hmm. you have a look around and you don't see anyone in the vicinity. Just gonna get really close. Just do a little... Try to light the fire with a firebolt. Small fire. Okay. Just get it going. If, um, so. if we're gonna set some... Uh... Some fires around. Mm -hmm. Do these tents look particularly flammable? They I'm not asking this out loud, I'm asking like as in if I look at these tents, do they look particularly flammable? The tents look like tents they seem to be made of a heavy cloth. Um slightly treated. May they may burn? They appear to be um they seem these ones seem to be relative the ones that you're at right now seem to be relatively thin, but they have been treated with a kind of almost a weather resistance to them. That's usually very flammable. Um Waxing. I'm not sure I'm trying to think I'm assuming that would make it more flammable. I mean it's a tent, it's cloth, it 
It depends on the shade. Even will burn. Chemical. Even wet Second. metal will burn eventually. Second yeah. question. Are the campfires alight during the day most of the time, or do they normally get put out during the day and only lit at night? Generally, from your experience, they're not on during the day. They'll generally start popping up around now. As, I mean... As the sun begins to set, and it get, starts to get colder, the fires, more, they provide both illumination and heat. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe like a... An evening escape attempt might be best anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Harder yeah. for the white ones to pick off any people. Cover of darkness, start the fires. Yeah. Uh, I'll go up to one of the tents. I'm guessing I don't see. I have to quick make sure no one that we don't know is around me. And I'm just going to summon my, like, my blade and just see if there's a cut easily. Yeah, makes a makes a ripping sound as you do so, but it does cut. Okay, can I try again to just do it slowly and try to do it as silently as possible? Give me a stealth check. Uh, give me a sleight <laughs> of hand check. You can muffle it. It's not silent. So they bolted it to the floor? Can you... There are tent pegs. There are quite... As you have oh. a look around, there are heavy iron tent pegs that seem to have been mm. stuck but... down. Do the tents have a cloth floor, or is it just ground? These ones do not. Don't have a floor, but the ones in there may. Or, uh, Ranos, you saw the inside. Do the inside, is it ground, or is it a tent floor? It was a wooden floor. It's pure luxury. You can't dig us out, Sam. So, let's say... <laughs> no, I, see, I just need, if I was going to go in, I just need an inch. Because I, I can. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I can go. To, I can turn <laughs> into my vapor thing and right. oh, shadow for. I can just pass through an inch. You didn't inspect the outside of the tent close enough to see how it looked, but you did see inside there is a wooden floor. Even on the slave tent, uh, the 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 cage tent. Uh, no. Um, okay, so it's a cloth. There was a, there was a flooring there, but it wasn't as nice. Okay. So, I've been asking myself this question for probably two years now. If you poke a hole or a slit into the tent and peek through, and can you can see the inside, can you then through that hole cast something like a fireball or misty step inside, even though you wouldn't as be able long to physically as you can pass? See where you're going. Certain spells, yes. So misty step, yeah. If it was fireball, maybe not, because that's kind of like targeting something through the hole. If it's something that you need to be able to see the like see the ground and get to it, that's different. Because if you wanted yeah. you could, if you wanted to do a fireball, you have to poke your finger through the hole, and then you probably fire. I mean, you couldn't see okay, where you were so... going, but I mean, you could probably wildfire it. Okay, so P poke a hole in the in the tent, peek through, chip, and you're in. Potentially, so you can see. But see, uh, yeah, if having the like, I have a number of things I can use to get in and out of things pretty well. So I can now cast invisibility on myself. I have to have disguise if I get fucked and uh, in a situation where I need to look like somebody. And then um, what else? Uh, and then I can also pass through anything an inch wide. With my shadow form. <laughs> you sound well equipped for uh, a job like that. Almost seems like he's a rogue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, I could. So, I can, if we want to, I can. No, actually, I've flown a good bit now in my shoes. Uh, like, can you fly? Like, do they make a noise when they fly? No, not really. No, so I could. Fly stealthily. No, no more noise than a pigeon would flying past your head. If yeah, you threw someone's pigeons head. are loud. It's, okay, pigeons are bad, I think. They're, they're not silent. They do make a small... I was thinking, like, owls. Yeah, like a wish. very Swishing silent noise. wings, yeah. but not exactly silent. Okay. But if you're high enough, it shouldn't matter. Oh, yeah. Depending on where you are. 
Okay, I can also just cast fly on myself, and I'm guessing that's completely silent because I'm literally silent, just yes. like. Wouldn't yeah. both fly Unless... in invisibility be concentration? Yeah. Unless you started so on there. <laughs> they're both, but it's someone else, uh, because Geo's in my camp, he has invisibility, don't you, Geo? Uh, yes. So he can cast invisibility on me if needs be. Yep. However, if you cool. used an item, it does break invisibility. And before you ask, Thieves Tools is using an item. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, but all I need to do is get to invisible to the back of the slave tent and in the area where I just can't be I like I can't I am not seen for about ten seconds. Cut a small hole, go shadow form inside the hole appear in the tent, grab their hands and shift away. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you the outcome. But no, no, not theoretically. The outcome, but that, theoretically, theoretically, that makes sense. It makes sense. Theoretically, it could work. The, the back of the tents were like sort of to the wall Pretty of the tower, against weren't Against the tower. Mm. Well, there's still a gap. There's two circles. Was, yeah, it's yeah, not, they're not it's, like built up against it, but they kind of just sit next to the tower. Yeah. But so, that like, all it... work, unless since the tents now, are so fancy next to them. Now, the maybe other thing is, if I, if I fuck up, now, it depends on where I fuck up, but if, if I get really screwed and I felt I have no options of getting out, I can just bamp myself playing shift out. That is a. That is if you can plane shift. Because if they are warded, because they are pretty much the bosses here. That they have like um, anti magic. I mean, the the devil did. If they had an anti magic field, you wouldn't have been able but, to get the arcane eye in there. Yeah, you would have got the arcane True. eye in. True. But they could yeah. be warded specifically for. No, I can do this, and I can do it under a night where people will be less sort of aware. It'll be under darkness, uh, less people will be awake and looking up and all that. I think get them out at night, and then we can spend a little more time here, set up a revolt. I, th I think as soon as they are discovered that they're not there, this place is gonna go apeshit. Yeah, even more chaos. Then it's just... I don't think it'd be chaos, it'd be more high security. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's up to you guys. I can try this. Um, probably to Nathan's either delight or disgust. Um... <laughs> oh, I'm just looking back. I'm just watching the ride. Uh, but uh, I'm really into risk. Skate's really into risk himself for it. Parents get them out. <laughs> Can we just quickly calculate who has the higher chances for the plane shifting to work? Well, see, I uh, all they just now. Uh, <laughs> Gio has the higher chance to get it. Now I do have luck, but yeah. really we just need to get them out. Like, like you transport once we're them, out... you and three heavily armed guards into the middle of the middle of some middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean but, the tent is or... 15, 15 Just take feet. the entire tent with you. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't get the guards because they're outside. Well, it depends where he cast them. Yeah, he's in the middle of the tent. But, yes. But yeah. then all I need to do is, as soon as we land, they're not they're not coming back straight away trying to fight. They're going back. Oh, what the fuck just happened? And then all I need to do is grab. The parents again, and just try again. I keep on trying until I'm successful. Sure. So <laughs> we until you end up in the middle of the lava lake. <clears throat> uh, I can't wait for this. But where where <sighs> do I? Obviously, we like going to the airplane because uh -huh. actually right now we probably do have a bad reputation there. But um, 
maybe go to the airplane. Just with that one guy, it's fine. You stole his fruit. <laughs> if we can go to the you airplane. Did. Hey. What, what's the name? What's the <laughs> name of the airplane um, city? So I remember. Oh god, cold air. Cold air. Yeah. Cold or Cold or Cold air. Okay. So cold or Okay. Or? And then. Yeah. Where where do I where should we where do we want to bring nearest parents back? Keep Coven, I, I guess, or keep. Yeah. No, the other thing is, if I bump them back, I'm gonna have to find a way back to you guys, which means I'm also gonna have to drop them to Corbin, bump back to Caldor, and then back to well, the general area. I'm guessing area. you can leave them in the airplane for now. Just tell them to not move <laughs> and come back. I think uh, as as soon as they're out of immediate danger of being sacrificed to an They've elder. Been yeah, and then I'm coming back here. I was like, "What's the name of this area?" So I just Wallet remember. Well, the dragons. Okay. Uh... They've been to Calder before. We took a vacation. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Now, I'm really trying this because it sounds really, really fun from my perspective. Uh, oh, good. But it's up to you guys. This is a skate crazy plan that. Uh, is it crazy enough to crazy? work? Just... <laughs> yeah. The thing is, what, what do we want to do after that? Do our... Then we leave, I, I guess. Or, or what? That is, if indeed the sacrifice of these two Dragonborn will stop whatever they plan. Or if there's enough magic key power to do it, it anyways. I feel like they'll just find out there's the sacrifice. Um yeah. Uh thank you. Yeah. Um <laughs> And then uh, But that's something we can find out. Yeah. We that. could we could choose we could see how they react and if we can't do yeah. anything. I'm we more could, curious like, to see how they react. We're out. Or we could go and try to cause as much chaos and fuck them over as much as we can. But mm. seemingly, we probably don't want TM out here in a month. I'm guessing that's probably not going to end well. It's in the uh, chaos. I do like the experience points, possibly from taking down TM out, but that's about uh, it. I don't think that's going to be <laughs> I, a, I do have a stat block. <laughs> Gods should not have stat blocks. Uh, <laughs> small. I've got her stat block from um, from the rise of Tiamat. Um, oh yeah, but that's the avatar, right? Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, um, that's what they would be summoning, right? But yeah, we <laughs> could try to. We could still, if I come back, you guys can decide to um, fuck things up here, and I, I can see, see how they react yeah. to their sacrifice suddenly missing. Yeah. Well, I think I, d I definitely I think we need to get. Not not stick around too long. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think yeah. get chaos, the spot get in there. Yeah. Get the fuck out. So I could, do, out. I, I could do this tonight. All I need to do is to go back to the uh, tent and attune to a couple of items. Well, may That's maybe it. maybe tonight we should gather. Um, only has six hundred HP. I just plus 19 on the strength saving throws. Um, <laughs> sorry, carry on. Uh, but yeah, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, we should gather weapons to try and get to the slaves, food to try and get to the slaves, and get everything in position. And then tomorrow night we do it. Yeah. I, I feel like yeah. we could sit and talk about this forever. We're going to have to get all that from um, They don't keep any food. At the facilities, unless they're preparing it. No, no. So pretty so much everything's coming from the warehouse. Positions from the from the warehouse for so weapons let's, and food. Let's try yeah. to get one so, crate of weapons. Yep. Yeah. Siphon that just, off. Just one crate of weapons. I mean, mm. more is probably unrealistic for a day. Yeah, but if if you run us can can get them, maybe you could try and uh, geese. Yes. <laughs> it takes it takes a minute them. to cast. It, it, yeah. I think if we, how about Silas, our new gnomish friend? I think if oh. we can, we have to mm. bring him somewhere, 
tie him down, gag him, cast the spell, hope it works. Um, I mean, we have a pretty good chance I can cast it three times a day, and I think Jojo can as well by now. Maybe not as much, but still. So, as if we can keep him down for five minutes, then I'm guessing it could work. If not, we'll have to kill him. And then is, <laughs> there's a tier two person missing. That won't be good. But that will not probably change our plans much. Or we could just try to convince him to help us. I don't think... He's too far in, I think, with the mask that speaks of his rank. Mm -hmm. And commitment. Well, your, your passive perception was 25, that was mm -hmm. good to know. Sorry, carry on. You're making me suspicious. What? <laughs> I did <laughs> roll that 21 for, for uh, people following me. Oh, yeah, you rolled a 21 indeed. Yeah, j just saying. Just say, don't worry. Don't worry, man. <laughs> i tell you if there's something okay. there. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I guess... What? Get weapons tomorrow, get food tomorrow, bring it all together and then go. So what is your plan? So is your plan to prep tomorrow and then have Skate, Skate the Lone Ranger go off and see what happens? Or what do you want to do? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Send him okay. after... Exfiltration. Yeah. Do you know you have the what? one bag of holding? Well, do you do have the two, technically? Which I'm not sure where holding. they both are right now. I think Jojo's got oh, think... one, and Rano's got the other. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, what I'll do though is I'm gonna prep all my achievements and everything tonight just in case things get fucked and I have to do the job quickly. Okay, you can so, use the head of disguise. So, so I'm gonna have to have disguise, uh, which means I can just look like my normal self. I just stop knowing the side to give me a pat on the head. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm just going to tell people I have had lights uh, and then no one will go near me. Um, <laughs> just walk around with a nick comb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have my um, <laughs> cloak, which I'll be able to conceal. Um, let's see. So, but that doesn't take an achievement spot. Um... Uh, my Iron Stone. Iron Stone, you cannot conceal. No, so I checked it, so it doesn't do that all the time, it's only when you use it. It true. says, what you, no, if you check, it says you throw it up in the air. Uh, let me just make sure. What's, what's your one? Um, absorption. I've um, I've been wearing these cloak this, these clothes for a couple of days now. Do yeah. I think I could conceal my cloak underneath it? I right. reserve. So here it says it's like. Um, I'm gonna try. If we're gonna go for it, I may as well change my cloak. I can cast seeming on on you guys. So. Last in the thing here, like... or I feel like when you would tune to it, it does that. No, so or an item, it probably says it. I'm pretty sure it says you can use an action to toss it in the air, and you gain the benefit of. So any creature can cast a spell off of first through to third level into the stone by touching it and casting the spell. The spell has no effect other than to be stored in the stone. If the stone can't hold the spell, the spell is, the spell is expended without the effect. The level of the slot used to cast the spell determines of space users. While the stone orbits your head, you can cast any spell stored in it. Yeah, the spell so, it uses... But... Uh, so there's that. Let me have a quick look at the attunement thing. It does say that you can um, so use this... an action to toss one of these stones in the air yeah. so it orbits your head at a distance of one. Okay. That's fine, so you'd have to use an action and then another action to use it? Yeah. Okay, good to know. That's fine. Hmm. So that is what, like, I don't have an immediate benefit, like, immediate one to put into it now of 
but like what would be a good one to have in it? I have currently I've hasted it. Oh, it's a level three. You'd have to use that. Yeah. Um, but is there any okay. other spell that's worth having in it that Misty you can give me? I mean, you mentioned using Misty stuff. It seems like yeah. if you think you're going to need that. Yeah, so then if GL, when we go back to the tent, you cast Missy Step, which you have as well? I don't. You I don't? don't. Oh, Nero Okay. So I need to find Nero who needs to be able to cast that into it. Okay. We have it with us right now, so we can do it now. Okay. We also need to keep an eye out in case any people come back. Yeah. From supper. So, uh, yeah, I'll quickly just uh, serve. I guess we just need to cast into it and then it'll just take the place of haste. Yep. Oh, okay. So, Nero, do you want to, you have loads of spot slots, you want to quickly just put in Misty Step? Yep. Okay. Okay, so you put Misty Step into the stone. Which is just verbal, by the way. But no, uh, yeah, it's just verbal for here. But okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll ha I have all my things now. Uh, I'll take my shoes as well. I'm guessing I have. Oh, uh, because I'll probably tune to them just in case I need to fly somewhere quickly and just GTFO. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Uh, at that point, we'll take our break. So feel free to finish up anything you need to do. We'll take a quick five minute break now and then we will resume um, tomorrow morning. In game. Not, not in, in life. That'd be weird. Um, I want you all at eight o'clock sharp. Um, right. I have to work tomorrow. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. We still need to get the weapons and I think you guys have to go since you're black. No. Jojo has to go. It's all soon. Yeah, because he's at the warehouse. Yeah, yep. but someone has yeah, to request the crate. Has to request the crate. Yeah. For me to oh, get the crate. Um, I'm going to need the ink for those requisition forms. Scribble those up real we quick. We probably have, we have ink with us. Paper. How much paper? Giovanni has ink. How much paper did we get? I have ink and paper. So. Oh no, I was going to use the specific paper that. Does oh, somebody right. steal paper? You think, that's, you think that's really necessary? Sure. Maybe? I, I think know. they steal stuff from whoever comes by and just use that. I don't, I don't think they have paper. paper. So they have it. shipments that come in. Yeah, but they also raid, so I'm guessing it's a, it's a mix of whatever they can get their hands on. Probably. I don't know. I just figured better safe than sorry. Mm, true. Because I could have sworn somebody stole paper sometime. I think you did. No, no Zin did, actually. Yeah, he took yeah. some from the desk. Mm-hmm. Ooh, right, okay. Right. Oh, no, wait, no, I can. Ooh, I'm gonna have to unattune to the amulet um, of health um, to get the wing boots to help disguise and the iron stone. So I'm not going to be much use in a fight. What about your amulet of planes? Oh shit, I need that too. Is that okay. a I don't think that's a tumor. Yeah, yeah, I'm the planes, there's a tumor. Okay, so we do need that. Try to start fine. How to disguise uh, wing boots, I won't use. Well, what do you think? What do you think is better, the wing boot or the hard or hard disguise? I will need to hide everything else. I was gonna say hat disguise might be useful if you need to get the fuck out of dodge quickly. Yeah. Or sorry, what is the hat? Hat of disguise. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could I could cast fly on myself if needs be. Yeah. Or I can turn into a raven and just run that way. I'm gonna tune to all my stuff. 
thought you already I'll, had, I'll, to be I'll honest. Change. Well, I, I haven't changed my cloak, no. I just, just my two rings, which are on a, a chain around my neck. Yes, I remember. So if okay. I tune my cloak, and then I can just try and conceal it. Um, I've got the two scimitars. But, um... Uh, I'll have to use to fight because my daggers are still in the bag. Yep. But I don't need to attune to them anymore, so as soon as we meet up, I can just try and get them off the bag at some point. I am going from uh, 102 health to 58 health. Oof. That's what I like to hear. Oh, yeah, I'm far if I get caught. <laughs> I like proper, um, proper rogue now. <laughs> An actual rogue, rather than one of these yeah. weird combo thingies that you've been for a while. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so let's just do a little bit of work. Let's do that. Okay, uh, I'm going to quickly kill this one. One sec. No problem. You continue. Trying to make a map work. Oh no, he's building a map. What? No, no, I'm not building a map. Those are <laughs> uh, it just makes life easier when there's a visual representation of this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more partially for me, partially for not me. Let's put you there, you there, you there. So I guess while we're still sitting here, I will take a little bit of time to try and write up some fake requisition forms for food and weapons. Hello. Hello. Okay, um, so you want to make some fake forms. Got you. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, should... they're written in Draconic. Shouldn't take too long. Sure. Just for the hell of it, um, I'd oh, like God. you to make me a dexterity check, please, for the forms. Uh... I'm not sure if yeah. I can have, I'm, I'm. Doesn't anyone have a forger's kit? Yeah, I just do. Just writing. So I could help out. Can I do that? Just. I mean, you can do the forging. Are you proficient with the forging kit? I am. Yeah. So do a forgery. You don't have to read the language. You just have yeah, to know the symbols. I, I you could work together on it, and I could. Yeah. You could both make a check, yeah. and I'll make a uh, judgment check. based on that. Two pieces yeah. of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I write out what to say. Do the. Yeah. yeah. Symbols. Give me okay. them weapons. Straight up dexterity. So how we do What? <laughs> Both of us. So yeah, sorry. Uh, straight up. Uh, well, just uh, dexterity and proficiency for you. Um, yeah. Giovanni, just a straight dex from you, Nero. But I'm proficient with draconic. You are, but you're not proficient with the forge. Uh, I'm not trying to forge it. I'm just trying to write it, David. So. Um, okay, you oh, okay. write out a couple, and they seem relatively um, believable. I mean, they're not—they weren't difficult to make, uh, but they appear to be legible. They appear to be legible. And what are you could requesting like, for the requisition? Could I like look at it and see if it looks like ones that I've seen before? Uh, make me a perception check. Zoom. And what yeah. are you requisitioning? What is your request? Um. Weapons. One crate. Scimitar. scimitar. Yeah. A crate of scimitars. And. Um, Polish and oil. A. Oh god. I'm trying to think of food that wouldn't spoil easy. How many? Would, would we ever. Would, would there ever be food and weapons on one slip? Because we only have one slip. I think we need to choose food or weapons. And I think we get weapons and point the slaves in the direction of where the food would be found. I agree. Yeah. So just weapons. I mean, we can spend two days or, I mean, different people can come at different times. But we only have one slip. And he keeps it. Why? Because that's all I could get. Zin stole a slip. Okay. Steal another then. <laughs> Okay, so um, that's that. 
Awesome. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Did, so can I tell that it looked like... Um, with, oh, with the 15, thing. yes. It looks pretty lifelike. Pretty believable, cool. even. <laughs> cool. Okay. Life like. So, yeah. It was a requisition for a <laughs> then. This is real! <laughs> this is paper! <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely ink on it. <laughs> But yes, it does look like a requisition. So it's a request requisition for one crate of scimitars, which is probably about twenty scimitars. Mhm. Mm okay. I know there's a lot more slaves than that, but it's a start. I mean, it's a start, yeah. isn't it? It'll be something for those that can actually use them. Okay. So. Um... I'll just pull my dice out. I need to stop doing the GM rolls because obviously when they're on the sc when they're on the screen, obviously um, people can go back and see them. I, d I trust you guys, but this is my own for my own sake. Interesting. Good to know. Actually, Ooh, that's oh, we close. should probably we should probably arrange somewhere to meet tomorrow. By the way, Could I say we skip dinner and do this while everyone else is having their dinner. Or sermon? Yeah, so, sermon is just before dinner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Give me that. So you guys, I'm guessing. I so the plan right now is for me to do save nearest parents during the sermon, and you're going to be doing everything else, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So then, I, Jacob, then is going to be the one poisoning all the meat, or do you want Jacob? Do you want me to try to do a sleight of hand? Before I leave, uh, I can do it. No, you do it. <laughs> okay, we'll yeah. both do it. We're we'll yeah. gonna be working over there tomorrow anyway. Together. Okay. I don't want to take the shine the from you. But this uh, has to be tightly timed. As soon as the wife yeah. was sick. W wait, we don't need to do that unless we also free the slaves. So. Well, Before right we now you actually... seem to have two plans going simultaneously, so um, do you want to quickly confirm amongst yourselves what do you want to do? Okay, no, no, right. 100% what's the plan? So I'm seeing, is the plan to do everything you've been planning so far to disrupt the camp and then have Scathe do the sneaky beaky? Or yeah. have Snaith, Scathe, Snaith, Snaith, Snaith doing the sneaky beaky and then if it all goes wrong waiting and laying low and then doing your disruption plans or no, just, just I, I think him. we just go all out yeah. might not be better to know how they react once the prisoners are gone since that seems to be an integral part of the plan true but having chaos in case something goes wrong with plan A plan having true. two plans going simultaneously might give us an extra leave some way out. symbols of Bahamut around <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only you had some. So, skate, uh, skate the graffiti when he was younger. He could probably do quick. <laughs> just all you gotta do is just like a silver S. Just yeah, like and put an eye. Skate, on. Sk yeah, skate definitely was a tagger when he was younger. <laughs> just, just put a silver trog door on there. You'd be fine. Yeah. <sighs> well, okay then. Um, <clears throat> if we get the weapons. Jojo will get the weapons. If that fails, she'll message you, Scathe. Yeah. And that's your signal to go. Yeah. Then we'll deal with whatever punishment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you remember, I need you to cast invisibility on me. Oh, right. Yep. I have that prepared. Cool. We'll do it like in the. We'll both go into like the shed, cast on me, you open the door, and I fly away. Yeah, poison the wife and make sure that they're, um, if we do have to fight them tomorrow, they're not going to be too hard. <laughs> okay. You also want to message um, Scape's friends and warn them to keep an eye out for us tomorrow evening, as we may be coming in hot. Scape's fan club. What, are we running out of here? I thought we were bamping. No, we're bamping. No, we are bamping, but, you know. Shit may happen tomorrow night. In what yeah. manner are we banned thing? Because I can do Arcane Gate. I'll take a call distance. We'll see when it comes up. 
Okay. Okay. So you're heading back to your respective tents. Yep. Anyone around? I'm gonna give. Well, we want make me one more perception check, Rams. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna give the requisitions up to Jojo. So she's okay. the one working in the. Yeah. Office. Twenty-seven. Ranos, you you crane your ears and you have a look around, and you you're not sure, but you do see this very slight movement of a tent flap. Not sure if it's the wind or something else, but you look again yeah. and it's not moving. It's whatever. If there was anything there, it's not there anymore. Okay, I'll, I'll do the badge and say very quietly, look and point to the tent and that mo movements, <laughs> like go there and kill. Okay, Z same guys. Uh, you move yeah, same over. Guys. You head we over all there. All go. Yeah. You yeah. head over there go. and there's nothing there. True seeing. You true see. And nothing there, but as you scan around, you do see what appears to be like um, just a pair of indented footprints. There. Okay. Someone outside, I look outside with the. No, it's not in. Yeah. So, sorry, uh, my mistake. Sorry. If you want to look, if you imagine like, imagine like a teepee, and if someone, if um, you're like peering around the teepee. Mm hmm. And you look around the back, and there's just this set of footprints. There's no footprints leading to it, no footprints leading away. Just this set of boot, uh, shoe prints in the ground. Wow, super money here. Uh, we, we, didn't hear, we didn't hear anything afterwards, after he heard, after he, he saw the flap. You looked over, and you kind of just saw, you saw the vaguest little bit of movement. Uh, but he didn't sure hear any was. muttering or anything. You didn't hear anything. Something up above? You scan around, you don't see anything. Fine. You know what? I'll go outside. Um, sh uh, bring out Shadow. I cast some visibility on him and just go look quickly around and then come straight back for somebody fleeing this area quickly. Make me a investigation check for Shadow. Uh, now, perception? He's... I'll do perception, yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Let me do this up in Shadow's thing. Oh, oh, hurry up. Sorry, this page is just slow. It's alright. Uh, he has advantage. The team. For a stealth a check? Stealth. Is it the same deep, same role? Oh. Sorry, did I pass? I, yeah, I fully pressed perception. No, it's hard. There you go. Okay, so we'll do four. We'll do fourteen for the first roll. Uh, you skip, uh, shadow does a quick loop. Doesn't see anything. Just a sea of tents. There are surrounded by dozens and dozens and dozens of tents. Um, well, I guess our hand has been forced, people. I will say. The DC for that check was 27. How sneaky was he? It's not just about the sneaky, it's about the rolls, man. So at least a plus 7. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> um, so my, my 6 level spell is gone, but I have to see now. You don't, you don't know if what's going, the details in particular, but it's up to you what you guys want to do now. Well, the spell is cast. So. The spell is cast, so yeah, I mean, the arcane eye is gone. So. Long gone. What do you want to do? And as you kind of look around, you do see a gaggle of people heading in your direction as people begin to filter in towards these tent areas. Okay. Gather around, all, all seeming us to someone else. And then it's go time. Okay, what are you seeming as? Cultists? Of various color. What? Of various color? Okay. Um. Are you sure? No. <laughs> no. Um. Remember, you are currently, as a reminder, in between the facilities area of the blue and the training area of the white. 
Um, blue then. Blue. Okay. And um, masks or no mask? Quickly, I ask. Mask. Next. Okay. So. Um, masks on people who are not good at lying. So I say masks on. Uh, Jacob. Uh, Zen and Jojo. All right. I don't agree, but it is so. Okay. You seeming, and just as the people come around the corner, you guys start to emerge, uh, and they just kind of look up, and you get you you get a wave as the guys head towards uh, the other tents nearby. Got speed. So what do you want to do? <clears throat> you going back to your own tents? Oh, we're going to do this now. I don't think we're doing, we this, doing now. this now. So doing this now. You're doing it now, okay? In the morning, no? Nope. Okay. No, we're we're we don't have time ahead. now. We've been discovered. There was someone Might listening. Might have been discovered, but okay, if we have been, fine, indeed, fast. then... We're doing it now. Okay. Um, You're doing it fast live? Fast. Oh, Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, um, yeah. let's go towards the mingle uh, near the tower. Not too close, and then we send off... I mean, oh, maybe, we... maybe, Ranos, maybe me and you should go to the slaves. See if we can cause some chaos. And Thanks. Sin can go for the parents, Nira and Sam. I will say, you have not attuned to your items yet. Well, I'm, still, I'm attuned to my rings, just not my clothes. The new items you've tried to acquire, you are not attuned to. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't got my cloak. Yeah. We're in no shape right now. Yeah, I need to go. Go find, give me my tank, go for an hour, let me tune the things, let me short rest, get my spells, out, and I'll go do, I'll go save Nero's parents now. I hope you have an hour. Yeah. If they I move go... them into the tower, we're boned. Yeah. Um, I, I need, yeah, I need them, because I need to tune to, I'm going to play into, uh, uh, I'm whispering all this, by the way. Um, we're doing, it. or I'm whispering in code or something like. Unless I'm really not super obvious. The eagle has landed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, I just need to go. I just need to go somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I guess five. we have no choice then. It was interesting. I just want to confirm something that you guys were having this conversation around the fire. Not inside the tent, were you? Mm. -mm. You were around inside the fire because yeah. you lit the fire and sat outside, didn't you? I'm mm. guessing we were still whispering everything, but yeah, we're out doing our yeah. by fire. Okay, good to know. That justifies what I was doing then. Um, it probably wouldn't been different if you made some effort to hide yourself and not lit a fire to show your presence. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. um, so you were trying to look like people just hanging out around a campfire? Sure. Yeah, I need to go find... Um, okay, um, I'm just going to grab Geo. Like, I need you with me. And we're gonna go try to go to the outskirts of a the camp and try to find. I, th I think you said that some of these tents have to be given out. You were saying that you it was a deserted area. I mean, yeah, you're yeah, in that's, it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to just try to find a tent that isn't being used right now. Uh, I'll cast invisibility on us. No, uh, not oh, yet. God, not yet. Not yet. Um, if, I guess we can all do that since... We don't look like ourselves right now. You can go and just... Yeah. It's up to you guys. You can just go back to your tents, or you can try and do this now. It's up to you guys. Or we could all head for blue, since all of I've you are blue guys now. I've been been muted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> GG, Tom. <laughs> GG. Um, if anyone wants to wear something, I have stuff, and Jojo has stuff. Yeah, I'll get my things, put them under my robe that I need to. I guess I've already grabbed my everything under my robes, and I'm just going to go. Let's, let's uh, all go Jacob find an intent. Yeah, and we can all attune to everything we need to, to, to everything we need to on. Ah, oh, chaos! So, where yeah. are you guys going? To an stay we're going to try and find an empty tent. Yeah, stay no. where we are, finding empty. I mean, you're surrounded where you were by empty tents. You just chose not yeah. to use them. Um, go, 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 to the, go to the very, very edge, Ben. You you are on the very, very edge. Okay, then we'll move like 
five minutes north where we are and just jump into one of those tents. Okay, if you'd like to make me a survival check to try and see if there are any empty tents around this bit. I thought they were all empty. There are, you found a small patch Shit. of empty tents on the edge. You have a, you you as a group and you're seeming being to head north towards the blue zone. And you have a look around. <sighs> you're not seeing any empty tents. It's pretty populated here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Would you even be able to see items we pull out with seeming? Probably. But they would merge once you I'm wear them. I'm guessing if you wore, put them on, it's different. I mean, if you reached into a bag to get something, you would see it coming out of the bag. But if you then like put it out on underneath your where your um, illusion Lama. robes would be, then it wouldn't be too bad. You could try and kind of keep it inside the illusion, but you can't see the illusion, so it's very difficult to see. To you, you look like yourselves. To each other, you can look like you can see your. Your seeming self, but to you, you look normal. Otherwise, if you get this really weird translucent edge around you the entire time. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I'll then run around, find some like, an empty spot, and just put on my boots if seeming is going to cover it. Make me a self check. You find a corner and you slip your Jordans on. <laughs> yeah. They are, by the way, they now, because I've watched a movie and I love it so much, they look like the Into the Spider-Verse Jordans, because sure. they are so cool. <laughs> they look exactly like that. Oh, they're so cool. So, Tony, what the rest of you doing is, you watch his scathe, just legs it. <laughs> just disappears. Well, I'm telling them what to do. I, I come back out and like, we need to find somewhere for everybody to chew. I guess we go to the shitters then. I mean, that would work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I let's go, just go find a shitter. There are shitters galore. You find a shitter quite easily. There is a queue, but you queue up. Uh, it doesn't take you long to get into a shitter. Okay, uh -huh. so we we need to hand over the bag though. You gotta do this weird, like handing over this bag as you come <laughs> out of the shitter. It's, uh, it's uh, moist napkins in there. We need them for our buttons. So, so wait, are we are we going into a toilet for an hour? No, just put the item on. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Do you oh, know there's a doozy. Those of you wearing like if you're on to add like shoes or robes, that's fine. Putting on things like armor, uh, mm -hmm. that's a no go. Yeah. Right. Uh, Good I thing. I will say, for the sake of brevity um, and the commotion around the toilets, um, give me everyone. Just give me a group stealth roll to oh coordinate, uh, uh, pass the bag back and forth between you, and do everything oh, you wait, need no. to do. I have advantage on stealth. So twenty-two, seventeen, three, six. <laughs> Why? That's a D20. There's so many numbers on it. Why is it always low? So we need JoJo's and... Because it's me. Uh, oh, I'm also missing like Tom stealth. as well, if you could give me a stealth check, Tom. Oh, sorry. It's alright. I Double keep throwing what so I completely missed it. For fuck's sake. JoJo doesn't really count, to be honest. Uh, uh, because yeah. she's not getting dressed. Did we have a um, or anything? No. no okay. So we've got 22, 17, 3, 6, 14. With that, I'll allow it. People are distracted okay. by the need to go. People are, people are... The last thing people want to do right now is look at you guys going into the shitter. Um, yeah. So, you take <laughs> 10 minutes group. to get... <laughs> and you take 10 minutes just kind of coordinating between you to swap the bag back and forth and obtain whatever items that you need. I was just going to sit in here for 10 minutes and change the... You need an hour to attune to them. Oh, for an hour? Great. So you wear them, but you're not attuned to them yet. Yeah. Okay, and while we so... go to the shitters, is there anyone following us? Maybe a and can I see check. them? Can I see them with my see seeing eye, uh, trusting? Make me a perception check. Can you look around? You don't see anybody. Curses. You keep an, keep an eye out, you put your tree seeing eye on. Um, 
No, you seem you, okay. you appear unfollowed. So Good. I have a question. Go for it. The staff. <laughs> That's going to be a probably um, a, quite a hard one to consume. Yeah. That's that's kind of my my main thing I need to attune to. Aside from my cloak of resistance, which only gives me a plus one. Yeah. Gauntlets of ogre power, then. Probably an ogre. Yeah. yeah. You're not wearing gloves. But the illusion uh... provides hands and a different face. Mm, I would give it the gauntlets. It would be weird to illusion everything but the hands. Let's <laughs> I'll give you that. Just as soon as you touch anything, it will clang. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. I forgot that you're a buff wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle wizard. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, now, once we're out of the toilets, the other place, there's going to be people there. I know me and Geo might be able to get away with going there, is the... Sh the shed. Is this shed big enough for like six or seven of us? It's a very small shed. It holds a bit of food and some tools. Maybe okay. six foot by six foot. Maybe less than that. Six foot. We by can just walk around foot. for an hour. It's fine. We could do. We could move ourselves closer to where we need to be, anyways, and then see if what? alarms go. We do see a concentrate on the audience, can we just again sit at a campfire and concentrate for an hour? Yeah. Like, we look completely different to normal, so I doubt that anyone's going to care. Yeah, go find a campfire in the blue camp. Since we're all blue. Sorry? Go find a fire in the blue camp, since we're all disguised as a blue cultist. Yeah, if you look like blue cultists, you could sit around a blue fire. Yeah, <laughs> I can even turn That's it. Blue. How long does um, ceiling last? Eight, Eight hours. hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that then. Yeah. All right. How late is it getting, by the way? At this point, I would say it is a. It's probably about six, seven o'clock. Okay. So not that so late. The sun right. is setting at this point, and it's getting dark. I really think we should be close to tent of desire, of our desire, at least. Um, oh. Since if they move them now, will be. Wouldn't the facilities area be? No, it's on the other side. Eastern side of the tower is the other side. Make <sighs> sure to describe this green gold us, because. Then we could sit over there. I don't know, man. Just... So, what are you guys doing? As you stand awkwardly nearby the shitters. Well, we're going we're gonna to find a blue... We're going to find a blue yeah. campfire. Okay, easy enough. You find a blue campfire. I'll, I'll walk off and see if there's anything commotion-wise going on near the... Uh, I'll try to get as close as possible without arousing suspicion. Okay. Uh, what rank are you? Um, You're a lower rank, rank, I think. Yeah, I'm lower low rank. Um, so one, drank lot probably. Cool. Um, you want to look, walk towards the tower? Yeah. Okay. Until you... the patrols incre increase and then I'll back off. You, head to, you get about a third of the way before the masses are thinning out and you can see pretty much only um, dragon wings and above. And they've started to patrol with those large um, lizard, like draconic lizards. And mm -hmm. you can kind of see, you spot one, you kind of lock eyes with one about 30 feet away from you as you're kind of walking towards you and just looks at you and just shakes the head and carries on. Okay, I look awestruck by the giant lizard and <sighs> nod <laughs> in agreement. Um, I'm guessing from here where I am, I can't see the the thing. No. The thing being the tent? Yes, sorry. No, A, you're on the wrong side, and B, you're probably a good half a mile away. If not more. Okay, but they don't seem to be perturbed. They the seem to, they've 
they've, they've seen an initiate, a new initiate walking too close to where they shouldn't go, and they've warned them. But yep, you don't yep. see any commotion. Everything appears normal. Mm -hmm. I really hope Shark killed. I think to myself, I really sh hope Shark killed whoever was following us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go back then. Make me a, just make me a wisdom. Make me a religion check. Um, hmm? Make me a religion check. Me? Yeah. Okay. Religion. I've never wrote that before. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. No divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Not not on the seven. <laughs> um. Uh, yes. It's a little lower than your level, right? Unfortunately, yes. if, you're a, if you're a cleric, yes. Um, if you're a bard, no. Um, yeah. Yes, we can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Is your rest. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll so you'll rest. the rest of you sit around the campfire. Um, I'll go back. You see as a few other of the blue brethren join you, and they start to have just general conversation. Um, and you just you kind of... You make small talk, talk. Can you just kind of fit in. Um, you get a few curious looks. <laughs> you, make, <laughs> you, make, you get a few curious looks, um, but uh, actually, I'll have everyone roll me. Just, everyone just roll me straight charisma checks. Oh boy. Not deception. Shit. Just charisma. It's just, just to fit in. Yeah. Okay. I need yeah. my modifiers. <laughs> I, I rock a charisma. You you ch you mm. sit around the campfire and you just kind of you engage in small talk for about the better part of an hour. Um, have a few drinks. Have a bit. Have a bit. Have some snacks as they're passed around. Uh, without with, with s'mores around the fire, without arousing too much suspicion that you know of. Uh, everything seems fine. Um, you kind of keep an eye on the atmosphere as well, and the atmosphere seems what you consider pretty standard. Um, no alarms have been raised, patrols don't seem to have increased. Seems pretty quiet, okay. pretty normal. Okay. I'll whisper to, at some point, um, I'll try to find a quiet moment and ask Jojo if she can do ascending to the parents and see if they have been moved. Just, have you been moved from your location? Okay. Uh, she jo does jo the same thing. Of course. Yeah. Jojo does not get a response. So they have been moved. Does she think um, it was like, like, did she have the double ticks? Was it delivered? I'm sure. Uh, Message received? lost in translation. It's gone. <laughs> okay. I, I find it amazing that we, we rely so much on the double tips. <laughs> <laughs> it's a known quantity. Um, I give the long nod to, stick to whoever Danny is. That's I win. Yeah. So, Owen slash that, Skate slash Danny. That was the long note. What I, what I do is, like, I can, yeah, I'll whisper under my, I go sorry, sorry, and just cough, but then I was to whisper into the badge and just be like, do I go? Very slow nod. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll tap G on the back and I'll just do the head nod that we need to head. I stretch my arms out <laughs> and get up. Okay, uh, <laughs> we just need to go find a quiet, like a place nowhere will see us. Um, and for him to cast invisibility on me. Yeah. Okay. Um, We're still doing the poisoning of food. <sighs> if you get the we probably won't get the chance, but if you okay. do, try it. Then I won't. Okay. Okay. So, if both of you roll me stealth checks, please. This is a, just a joint roll, so... Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, 
uh, Giovanni just looking around and being completely unsettled as just uh, <laughs> as Scaith just hand appears from a tent and just pulls you in and you find a secluded spot okay alright I'm just going to psych myself up okay you do it you can do this man I got this I'm just gonna put it into. Oh, wait, the I was gonna inspire you. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna go into a patch and just go. I really hope this works. I love you guys if it doesn't. And Thank I'm gonna you. go. I'm just gonna go. Okay, Gio. Cast it and just leave the tent door open and leave in a fit of sneezes. It makes a noise. Really loud sneezes that really piss people off. I, I always sneeze very loud. <laughs> it's just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you noticed during your travels? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being a doctor, uh, you can do cast... something about the hay fever. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I cast the invisibility on Skaith or Owen, and then I leave in a sneeze attack. That's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! And as he opens the uh, flaps for me and he's sneezing, I am flying up into the air. Using your shoes. Uh, shoes. My Jordans. Cool. You head up into the air as John Regay returns to the rest of the camp. So, Skaith, where are we going? I am straight for the tower. Head um, straight to the tower. Rip Skaith! Fly. Rip. How high up are you going? <laughs> 30 feet, 60, 60 feet, 60 feet? 60 feet. Okay. Yeah. You fly up, and it takes you about dropped. 20 minutes of flying to get over mm -hmm. towards the tower. It's quite a distance. It takes you about 20 minutes to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, as you look down, you can see the campfires below you lit. You can see the patrols with people with their torchlight and the road path and the paths that are lit with torchlight. You can hear the beating of the wings of the wyverns as they do their patrols above you. And as you crest around the side of the tower, um, you can see down uh, on the eastern side this cluster of three tents. You have two large tents and then one smaller tent in the middle. You can um, see currently uh, there are uh, 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 standing torches, six of them, two per entrance, which are illuminating the area. And you can see three of those heavily armoured individuals. Um, just kind of keeping watch, and you can also see carrying torchlights, the patrols circling the base of the tower. Uh, pretty much as Ranos described it to you. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna watch for in the air. So I need just watching. I am going to watch five minutes and try to discern how much time do I have up. So say, can we like draw a very rough map so I have a nice full idea? So I'm definitely doing it correct. Um, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like that would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Rough, rough guess this is, but your tower is up here. Let's put Scaith on the map. Just okay, Scaith. and they're circling it. So the tower. So imagine. Let me draw on here. Uh, let me draw a patrol route. So let me draw with that. Imagine this is your patrol route, and this is your tower. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is rough, not exactly to scale. So do not necessarily use this as a two-scale map. This is to give mm -hmm. you an idea. But you have the okay. blue tent. Actually, let's. Uh, what I'll do is I'll even color code. Them. I can't color code them. Uh, oh, I can. Uh, so we've got the blue tent. And. Gary Tent 2.0. That, that's <laughs> it. They, they look awfully familiar. And we'll call this one the brown tent. This could be the Zim tent. <laughs> it already looks brown as it is, but extra brown. <laughs> That's my favourite colour. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you should have been in the brown camp lifting boxes then. Um, and Skate, you're currently floating. 
over here, we'll say, just maybe a bit further away. But that's roughly where you are. Um, currently, both flying <coughs> um, and invisible. And which tent are the parents in? The parents are in the middle tent. Right. The boots can be your flying. Okay. Now for those anyone interested in what these dragon, uh, these guys look like, I'll like, make the token a bit larger, a little bit like that. Oh, nice. that's a cool token. Thank you. Drew it myself. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And are they talking? Are they doing anything? They are stoic. They, you're not. Stoic. You have for a few moments. You look over them, and you, you're pretty sure they're statues. But then, one of you see. Like one of them exhales in the cold. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. If there's some. I think they're guarding. Yeah. God. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go high. Basically, I want to go high. So I'm like, I'm giving lots of space. Yep. To get like sort of up here. And now I'm going to be moving down. Like, it's almost because I'm moving straight down, it is almost like a floating descent. So. You, Shoes, yep. so I didn't have to make that much noise going down. Sure. And I want to go as stealthily as possible. Okay. Um, give me a stealth check with an advantage. Cool. Um, let me know about if they are making any. Actually, no, I can't. Yeah. Okay. You to start to. You down and making almost no sound. Um, are you landing? Uh, um. No. You. Oh, if if I float, do I make noise? L very little, if at if at all. Okay, then I won't. I'll say above. You kind of like hover a few feet off the ground, and you kind of look around the tent. You don't see any movement. The guards seem as they are. Um, okay, okay. Um, in my mind, I'm going to tell Shadow, be ready to fly just straight up in the air on my mark. Cool. And I am then going to have my hack blade in my hand. Actually. <laughs> Um, okay, I yeah, I'm gonna fucking just go for it. Um, I I'm going to start making a small cutout, or sorry, to bring my blade down into the tent, try to cut a hole in it. Okay, one, make me a sleight of hand check. Um. Look. Okay. Twenty-two. You put pierce the dagger in. <sighs> Technically, mm, using an item slash, I'm gonna say, what do we this think on the will break this, this will break invisibility? You place the blade in, and you start to ever so slightly just shimmy so, it down. Wait. So when I meant I'm landing, and more I meant I'm not putting oh, my yeah, feet you're not on the ground. Floor. Yeah, no, I'm that's just, fine. Yeah, you're yeah. just above it, and you're yeah cutting or peeking. Cutting a small. How much do you want to cut? I need it so the so the cut will leave an inch wide um, gap. Okay. Remember that you put the thing in your are you stone. Yeah, I know. So you break the invisibility, and ever so slowly cut down this small gash and kind of curve it round to the side so that it leaves like a flap that you can that you can see through you want to look in? okay yeah I look in to see if they're in there you see the three three cages and you do see two blue dragonborn inside the do tree. I recognise them as the make a perception check They appear to be Mina and Jonathan. They are currently um, maybe asleep. Hard to tell. It's dark in there. Okay. 
Are they within touching distance? No. So the cage is about five feet away from where you are. <clears throat> but so they're not in touching distance. But if I'm in between, I could touch butts. Both being. Both dragonborns. They're in the same cage when huddled in a corner. Oh, they're both in the same cage. Okay, sorry, that's what I meant. Okay. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and I'm in. Um, use my shroud. Turn it into shadow. Turn into a shadow. Into your shadow form. Yes. Okay. It is dim light back here, so you're fine. I go through the tent. <laughs> and you sneak in and you kind of like cling to the side the back end of the tent um, not far from where the cage is okay I can still slink in and I'm going to slink, slink just going to be dodgy I'm going to slink into the cage so I'm in there with them you hit the cage you feel a shock you can't penetrate the bars Fuck. And I also need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Okay, you maintain shadow form. But you feel it flicker. You almost feel yourself forced back into humanoid form, and then you pull back, and you manage to maintain your okay. steadiness. Okay, okay. You can just okay. say it's the fail and teleport everything. Um, how big is the tent? The tent's about 15 foot. Okay. The tent is about 15 foot. The cage is about okay. mm, 5 to 6 foot. Now, is it, can I see what the door of the cage is like? Like, what kind of... Is it a normal kind of cage with a lock and key, or is it... There's no door. To a cage at all. It's just a cage. There's no door, there's no hinge, just a cage. Too bad I didn't notice that. <laughs> it was a quick cursory look around, unfortunately. Um, okay. No idea what the fuck to do. Okay, um. Shit. Um, I'm gonna pray, I think, right now. And I am just gonna pray my head back far. <laughs> I am not a magic nerd. Is there a way for me to get inside there and then back out? Please. Make I me need a wisdom this. check. You pray and you pray. And you reach out to Shah with your... with your willpower and your belief. And you call out to your patron. My, but which is apparently my cat. <laughs> and you get no reply. Okay. How long, is, how long does your shadow form last? Uh, it's, it's like, uh, I think it's 10 minutes or it could possibly be an hour. Let me just quickly check. It's, uh, it, if it's, if it, it's more than a minute, it's fine. Yeah. You're on no time. Uh, okay. It's for an last for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, fuck. Okay. Um, 
So much I can do here, but then try to do it now. Um, I'm gonna go, fuck it. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have to do this big. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna go into the corner. Okay. Into the corner of the room. I want to sweep, basically, I want to try to get as far away as well from the guard. Okay. If you're at the back of the tent, the, fifth, the tent is about 15 foot across, so you are, you are pro if you get against the back, the guard is about 20 feet away from you. And I'm just going to wonder if I hope this works. If it doesn't, Jojo, I fucking love you. <laughs> and I'm going to use Amulet Planes, and if I can purposely fail it, I'm... yeah. Or... Oh, wait, no, wait, sorry. I mean, sorry. If I fail it, we don't go to where I want, we go to a random place. Let's pull up the amulet again. Uh, let's pull up the pull up the details. Uh, planes. A plane shift. Uh, go to a random. Uh, amulet the planes. There it is. So, while wearing this amulet, you can use your action to name a location that you're familiar with in another plane existence. Make, a, make your int check. On a successful check, you cast plane shift. On a failure, you and each of the creatures within um, 15 feet of you travel to a random destination. So if you fail it, it takes everything with you. If it succeeds, you, if you succeed, you bump that way. But there's only a, a chance to go to a random plane. On a, a yeah, just roll a D, or, D100 on a or we just be you go completely floating. random. Um, sorry. Floating airplane. Uh, yeah. So if you go to, uh, if you roll... 1 to 60, so you have a 60% chance to go to the plane you specified, but a random place. If you roll um, 61 to 100, you just go somewhere. There's no limit on the amount of uses. Correct. Uh, but I just need to research something as well. I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Uh, um. Oh. Shit. I mean, we have resurrection spells. <laughs> <laughs> Staying positive. Okay. <laughs> so now what? It's worth the possible try. Um, we we'll to be killed on any skirmish we have, you know. I'm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try. I'm going to try to misty step into the cage. Okay. So you drop your form. Yeah. You land quite silently, and you cast misty step from the iron stone. Yeah. Or, so uh, towards the cage. And you slam into the front of the cage with a heavy bang as the as the anti-magic field strikes you with an electric shock, jolting you back as the entire tent flashes with with light around you. You watch as the as the heavily armored individual behind you just turns around and just stares right at you and gr you, you can hear him begin to shout and go for his weapon. What do you do? I'm going to cast Thunderstep. Or, yeah. Thunderstep? Yeah, How yeah. about Emulet of the Planes? Do not die. Oh, oh, shit, I can do that myself, yes. Uh, I'll <laughs> use Emulet of the Planes. Okay. Are you intentionally failing? No, I'm not. Okay. Roll me your intellect model. Roll me your intelligence check. I... I don't think uh, I'll try. They'll go yeah. to the tower. So roll me an intelligence check. Let's, Let's see, see if uh, you fail. fail. 
So as you grab, you watch as the as the dra as the dragon soul <laughs> turns to you, grabs, brings his blade, and starts to shout something in a language you don't understand. You grab onto the amulet, and you kind of look over at this thing and you concentrate. Where were you trying to go? I'm going to Caldor. You try to go to Caldor. Okay. As you concentrate and as you fluster, you can't quite focus on the magics, and you feel it begin to charge up as the magic glows and the pendant emanates a soft purple light but it begins to flicker and almost short circuit as the spell completes as you are sent hurling forwards as you fall forwards uh, with force as you find yourself floating within the astral sea looking around you you can see there's bits of tent bits of fabric and poles dancing all around you and also a cage next to you as you look over and you can see two very confused, very awake now, Dragonborn, tumbling around inside the astral plane, inside your so cage. It, it, what's gravity like here? There isn't any. You're just so falling we, uh, all oh, over. Oh, oh, are, you, are we falling? Or are we... It's more like uh, you've kind of lost your balance and you're just tumbling zero forwards. It's a zero-G situation. Now, roll me a D100. You got the cage with you. Okay. So going back to the amulet. So, on the one to sixty, you travel to a random location on a plane that you named. All right. So I'm gonna. I've got. I've got three locations in my head, on that plane. Roll me a D three. Uh, what time? Roll me a D three. I don't have a D3 to hand. Three. Interesting. Okay, and you kind of hover there for a second, and then the amulet itself <laughs> crackles and jumps into life once, once again, almost like a juddering car starting up. And you feel, uh, feel a force pull you back. Uh, as almost as if you you kind of hovered forward and you're whipped back and you crack your head against hard rock as you land on something solid and you f you take a good ten points of bludgeoning damage as you feel blood begin to pull down the back of your head from the impact you hear a heavy crash <laughs> a heavy crash as the cage lands next to you almost landing on top of you uh, it takes a minute for your vision to clear and you look around and you're on a f you appear to be on a, on a, a rock you're on a platform of some kind uh, you're almost on a flat ledge and you watch the cages teetering very precariously on the edge of this ledge as you look around and you can see a whirling tempest of uh, um, energy and lightning and cracks of thunder all around you as you look over to your right and you can see um, the tempest of Yancy Bin's prison. As you uh, you look around, and you can see a flashing a flashing streak of air in the air that spins around, that darts into a cloud and comes back, and it comes back into view. As you can see what appears to be a young storm drake flying nearby, kind of circling around to see what the fuck just happened. Storm drakes. So this was where I'm. Near the prison of I'm near somewhere I've been you're, before. You're at. You have arrived at Tempest Keep. The Tempest Keep is where is in the, the storm drakes. Is where the storm oh, drakes looked after the prison of Yancy Ben. Good thing you're the buddy who freed them. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you I, land with um, a heavy crash, and, the, and you watch as this cage. You remember now that the entire area was surrounded by these floating islands of rock, and the cage is just. <laughs> on the edge of one of these. Uh, teetering very hard. You can see both of them kind of scrambling back. They yeah, have no idea I what's tell going on. I told them to come to the side to put some of the weight onto the side of the rock. Grab onto it. Uh, give me an athletics check. You grab onto it and your fingers slip. And the cage just... It begins to teeter off the edge. One more try. As they're still scrambling back. They have no idea what's going on at this point. Come fucking and here! Using luck! 
Look. And the cage just drops. Fuck. And you uh, kind of slip okay. onto I... it, and as each time you grab it, that almost a static field <laughs> cracks on your fingers, and <laughs> you look okay, down. I, and I, I poof knows, through a cloud. I, I, I. Once I see it's going, I'm uh, Spider-Man s nose diving off the cl <laughs> off after it with my boots. You dive off the edge, poof, and you disappear into the cloud, and the clang. You land on the cage. <laughs> as um, you kind of, as the cloud cover parts around you, and you can see one of the storm drakes has grabbed the edge of the cage, and you just kind of nose dived into it, and you kind of right yourself up, and one of these storm drakes has got the cage in its talons and starts floating it flat, uh, lifting it back up. As of I ask, oh fuck, fucking hell. <laughs> Why did I come back to this group? <laughs> and <laughs> you're now you are set back on the ledge. Uh, Meanwhile, just, oh, thank you, thank you. Constant yelling. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of Ignium seat. You're just kind of chilling away. Oh, this all this these onions are giving me so much gas. How about you guys? Oh, yeah. do you, did you see how much onion they put in that soup a few days ago? Oh yeah, oh. I mean it tastes great, but I know it burns <laughs> to pee right now. I tried to I don't convince them to put it in different pots, but they wouldn't even they wouldn't listen. Oh. The ten flaps Was it will... you? Was it you that did it last? Oh. I just chopped them. Oh, I know, I know, I know. She's a uh, Clarice. Can she? She can be a bit harsh, can't she? Oh, oh. I don't want to think about it. Just pass me. Ten flaps will be waving all through the night. Oh, you know what? <laughs> don't talk. Uh, Gareth, fuck me. I think Gareth was something that called up at Gareth's arse and died. I think he was an <laughs> onion. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, um, there appears to be... Uh, as you're having these conversations, you watch Ranos. Uh, uh, and Jojo will see this as well, but as a couple of Wyvern Riders descend down towards the tower, uh, just about two or three of them descend down. But um, nothing else happens that you can see. Hmm. Concerned looks. You can leave. Everyone looks around at each other with, those, with this concerned look of recognition, but you hear no sounds, you hear no real commotion from where you are, but you do see the Wyverns <coughs> descending down. Okay, right, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Is there anything you guys? I'm want sure to he's do? fine. Is there anything we can do? I'm sure we'll get out. Uh, well, let's take yeah, a stroll. <laughs> Walk off this gas. Be like panicky. We could uh, scry on Skate. Maybe. Maybe? Not the same plane though. No, but we don't know that. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, but if, also we, if we go somewhere safe. There's oh, one. I need to use the restroom again. <laughs> you tell me to scry in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the bathrooms are dying down right now. You could find yeah. a bathroom and do that. Yeah, I'll go into the bathroom and scry. Just to sort of... Good cover story with the... Yeah. Okay, yes. you... Sit down with your crystal ball and you gaze on it. Put <laughs> trousers around your ankles. <laughs> and uh, I, I believe I it. I don't think it does. I don't think it does cross plane, does it? No. Um, Same plane of existence. Yeah. So Do you I get concentrate. An you concentrate. And I'll also be very, be very big. Sorry. It's okay. You just receive. You just, your uh, the crystal ball just flashes up with a red message that says, "Target not found. Target okay. not found." That's concerning. Yeah, I. Yeah. Anything else, or we just want to head back to the group? I think I'm, I'm done. As you you head out, and you can see there's a bit of a line formed up, and as you walk out, you get a few concerned looks, and someone like looks past you towards the toilet. And then use another one. Use another one. <laughs> and just walks elsewhere. <laughs> just walks off. Most of the queue entirely disperses at this point, uh, as they find other means of relief. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the plane of air, Skaith, you and the Stormdrake and um, Nira's parents are safely deposited back 
on this ledge, um, on, surrounded by these rushing winds and storm clouds. Um, the drake sets the cage down and kind of starts to um, speak to you. Okay. And as it does so, you can hear this rasp of rough, cracking sounds like small thunder, thunder cracks, and you have no idea what it's saying. Okay, uh, I'm just going to put my hands up, and I'm just going to go... Um, King Heckerton, or Heck... Sorry. Heckerton, Heckerton. Yeah. Heckerton. Heckerton. Alright, let's point at me. Can I speak to him? You can hear the kind of storm break kind of cock cocks its head and just cracks at you a little bit more. Um, at this point, you watch as uh, Mina and Jonathan, they're both rattled and have no idea what's going on. Um, you. Ex- ex- where are we? Where, what's going on? Um, I I drop my, like, the seeming form, so it's just me. I can't. No, I can. <laughs> I'm going to say as you go cross plane, it's going to drop. Okay. Yeah. I think that's uh, fair. I, I put everything off so they see me. It's fucking strip for them. <laughs> it's me. It's it's Skate. I'm uh, friends uh, with Nira. Oh, you met I, them. I think I, I, um, I recognize. Yes. Um, I. What? It's, what's going on? Okay. All I need you is to be able to talk to this Drake and say I need to speak to King Hecatoon. Um. I'm a friend of the king in Draconic. Um, okay. She, um. She starts speaking to the Storm Drake and they have a conversation back and forth. Um, <laughs> for a few moments. Just mentioned me, I'm basically a celebrity over there. Um, and you crack it here back. Um, he says he knows you? Yes, uh, I, where, where? I unlocked their cages to save them from bastards that attacked them. Okay. Um, they know that whole story. They want to know we can. They said they can take you to the queen. Yes, that works. Um, Someone I in charge. Don't know what's going on. Um, you see at the at the moment. Um, you can see Jonathan is just cleaning his yeah. glasses in the back. Like, <laughs> I, I just put I put up my hand like. Towards the cage, but I'm not going to touch it because then, fuck. And now let's go. Nero is saving you. We look safe. Um, <laughs> I it's think... a process. Uh, okay. It's a process. Uh, and with Just that, the process. With that, you two ah, falls over as, and pretty much falls over. The cage is lifted up again, and you fl- both yeah, fly I, I, over. Yeah, I fly with them. And you fly over to a large a platform that you didn't visit beforehand, which is a large cave mouth in front of it. Um, and you can see as um, Altarian begins to lumber out. Um, who She looks down. <laughs> My, what have we here? I've met her before, haven't I? I <laughs> recognize you, small one. What an unexpected visit. And you have brought me prisoners? No. Please explain yourself. <laughs> the we 20 were here words or less. <laughs> when we, I was here before the stopped, when they. I am aware uh, of who When you the cultists. I am aware. The, of who on you the are. prime material plane, or on the material plane. So, bastards are trying to bring back Tiamat. Interesting. And these here were prisoners of these terrible cultists, and I was trying to save them, but um, my plan went a bit awry. But I trust your people, and to have to, if you could just. If you have your best mages or best people with arcane that are able to get them out of this magical cage, I'll be on my merry way and with you for a lifetime. She kind of cocks her head and studies you for a minute. Hmm. She just kind of sniffs, snorts, (laughs) 
at the cage, and a small staff, a small shock jumps out and just uh, surrounds the cage. Mm. She just kind of flicks it with a claw and gets a small shock. This is powerful magics. Not that I can break. Not now. But give me time. You seem flustered. If there is much going on in the Prime, if you have no way of transporting these... <laughs> Sniffs at them. Mm, familiar smelling humanoids. Then, perhaps I can free them with time. Or you are welcome to take them elsewhere. <laughs> if you are able. I... I, I, uh, not really able. It's more of a random guess for me at this stage. If you could protect them and they will get them out of the cage, we'll be coming here straight away, coming back to you and come back once I've gone and make sure my friends are okay. Very well. We owe you a great debt, small one. I will work on this and ensure that they are safe. Just looks down at them. And they, they seem both terrified and awestruck at the same time. Um, I told them about this. Not one. quite sure what's going on, and you can see them starting to piece bits together of what's of who this person is. And they just look at you and they nod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just turn to him and go, "You're gonna be safe here." Uh, and I think in my head, I just go, I really, really hope Orthodox Nero's gonna kick the shit out of me. And, oh, buddy. Uh, and I just go, okay, you, you guys are gonna be staying here. I need to go make sure that Nero is okay and the rest will be here as soon as we possibly can. Okay, um, we'll wait here. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice. I like, I think myself, I was like, I think I could probably live here. I got the shoes, but I just, I grab the armor planes. I take 50 or 25 feet away from everybody else just to make sure. And I just go, thanks a million boss. Details. Thanks a million boss. And I hit them <laughs> off and I'm going to go to armor planes, the material plane. And I want to go. Home of the Shadowborn, or the cave that is the home of the Shadowborn, Nightborn. by the Well of Dragons. Okay, make me an intelligence check. You're oh out of luck. Okay, I have one luck left. Um, I th think he he's only used two today. Okay, eighteen. Yeah. Okay, that's I'm enough. Okay. As you feel the magics, and this time it feels much more harmonious, and there's a resonance to it. As um. The plane shift spell takes hold, and this time, as you drift through the astral sea, you feel light, and you it's comfortable, and it's so much nicer, before you land just outside the cave of the Nightfall. Pretty safe. I take and the stretch. Make me a con save. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I stretch, and then, as I realise, <laughs> con, uh, sorry, has as much constitution as normal, I just go <laughs> You can't be aware. Meanwhile. Yeah. Flipping back to the rest of you. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Anything cool happening with the guards and stuff? Maybe are people a... losing their shit, so yeah. What have you guys done? <laughs> have you left? The... I think we're, we're just acting as if we we're just sort of chilling. Yeah? Yeah. So we're taking an interest in what's... Okay. Yeah. If it... Did everybody leave? Did everybody go? I mean, the the NPCs have not left. The the only difference that you've noticed in the last 10-15 minutes was the Wyverns descending down to the base of the tower, about three of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, then no, we're just, we're just going to stay okay. where we are. Okay. Over the next 15 or 20 minutes, you can see large, you start to hear a commotion around you. 
as large waves of guards and patrols seem to be fanning out. There is a surge mm. on. Not a huge surge, but there is an increased patrol. And looking around, you can see the robed figures. Where it, the ones that you haven't really encountered before, the ones that you saw walking around the outside. Each of them seems to be carrying some kind of a staff with a crystal on the top. And they seem to be almost waving it around like a sonar. Hmm. As if they're searching for something. And they seem to be just spreading out uh, almost like uh, like a lightning strike on the ground just filtering out through the camp. Um, these staffs, are they anything we're familiar with? Don't look familiar. You haven't, you haven't really seen these guys very much. The first time you'd really encounter them was when they were patrolling the tower. And you didn't get a good. You didn't go and have a good look at them. Mm-hmm. Um, but they appear to be some kind of magical staff, or some kind of staff okay. that they are focusing mm-hmm. on, and kind of they are. They're kind of. You can see. You kind of stand up and you look about maybe 120 feet away from you. There is one kind of holds one up and just kind of waves it around. Are Does they searching people or? Uh... You don't okay. see them, so you don't see. So you can just see these small groups of like uh, the fangs with these. Um, I'm going to call them wizards. Mm. What do you want to do? Okay, um, Play cool. Uh, we're seeming spot him. Where are we? Mm. Maybe they're trying to detect magic, is what you're thinking. Is there a way to dispel it? I mean, we have magic items on us. Nothing we can do. Alright, then we'll play cool. Play cool? He's slightly curious, but, you know, not drawing attention. Okay. A few minutes go past, and you can see one of the groups is getting is drawing closer to you, kind of doing a perimeter search. Where, mm-hmm. where about are we 60 now? Are we feet from by the, right now. By the shittest? You're currently around a campfire in the blue zone. About. Right. So, what do they. What do they seem to be focusing on when searching? They're just looking around, looking. They've got the staff going, almost like a beacon. They're looking mm-hmm. around. They don't stop, they just keep walking. Well, okay. They haven't stopped so far. Mm-hmm. And they're, well, they're suspicious approaching. Not to go away. They're appro- yeah. approaching rapidly. Just play cool. Sit down. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Slightly curious. You can see that Stay now the weapon patrols. Say again, Tom? Stay chill as fuck. <laughs> Yep. You do. Uh, you can see the weapon patrols have increased above overhead now as well as they're orbiting in large circles around the area. <laughs> as the uh, the group, as this group, there's there's appears to be um, one wizard, one of these staff wielders, one of the plate wielders, and one of the fangs. And as they pro- approach, they get within about forty feet of you. And the wizard puts his hand up, looks around. Look straight at your group hmm? and just points. And he then slams the staff into the ground as a flare shoots up into the air. And you watch as two, three, several women riders turn towards you and begin to careen <clears> and just end towards the flares. As everyone around the camp is kind of looking a bit nervous and unsure of what's going on, looking around yeah. and they don't know what's happening. What are you guys doing? Hoping like, that what Skaith the fuck? sees these, this flare. Well, this is during the time that Skaith's kind of doing his ah, stuff. Ah, okay. <coughs> are, we, hmm. yeah. are we doing this today, tonight? Just being like, oh, what the it's, what, fuck, it's 10 what o'clock, what isn't the it? Fuck? Sorry. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should... Uh... Just, sorry, got, got carried away there. Yeah, So. I mean, as, very suspenseful moment. As the flare yeah. goes up, this large um, white flare shoots into the air as these wyverns begin to careen and change their direction. And you can hear a few shouts from behind, in the distance, um, from several other in- individuals that you can't see. And the, f- the campfire, look- the camp around you looks nervous and confused. Mm-hmm. And that is where we'll end the session for today. Mm. Well. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, yeah, that's suspense. That's I hate it. Uh, I hate it when Danny goes off on a on a stealth mission alone. 
<laughs> because you it, can do it's it. It's never. It's never straightforward, other than when it's killing Jojo's mentor. <laughs> yes, that went nice and easy. There wasn't yeah. any anti magic shit around that. Okay, then. So that's where we'll leave it. Uh, I'll get the <sighs> there. Thank you very much. We'll be back on as normal next week. Um, if anyone yeah. can't make it, do let me know. But let's turn that off now. Goodbye. <laughs>